Hi, hello, and welcome. I am definitely not Grave Chill, and you're watching me pug my way to 2.8k rating on an Enhancement Shaman in Dragonflight Season 2. Before we get started with the episode, I wanted to make a quick announcement. This is aimed at regular viewers of the channel, so if you're new here, feel free to skip this. I have chapters at the bottom of the description, or you can just hover over the progress bar and you can skip over, and you don't have to listen to this little announcement. But in short, the videos are going to become shorter now. I just can't keep up with the pace of the videos as they are right now. I may have bitten off more than I could chew with the daily uploads of an hour-long video. I won't bore you with the details, but the gist of it is instead of having hour-long videos every day, there's probably going to be 30 to 45 minutes of a video, depending on how I can wrap it up by the end of the video. And I will do my best to make them trend towards the 30-minute mark rather than the 45-minute mark. I understand if this is a deal-breaker for some people. Some people really enjoy the long format of the videos, but I unfortunately just cannot keep up with that pace. I work a full-time job alongside of this. YouTube is not my job. I kind of wish it was because I could just spend my time making videos, but this this point I kind of just cannot dedicate this amount of time to YouTube because I do have to do a job and I also like doing stuff like sleeping that's super fun <laughs> But yeah, sorry to get all down on you with the announcement at the beginning of the video. I just really wanted to make sure that I communicate this so that people aren't caught off guard when the next video is much, much shorter if they watch every video sequentially. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys understand and I hope you're not mad at me. And if uh, this is a deal breaker for you watching the channel, I completely understand. I'm sure there's plenty of other really awesome creators out there whose content you can enjoy. Anyway, the rules of the series. I can't group with anyone I know. I can only stay in a pug group for one more dungeon. And that's if I'm not hosting the key and I haven't been out DPS'd by a lot. I I can't send myself gold from my other characters, accept any free gold, or buy a WoW token. I have to clear every dungeon on a plus 20 on either Tyrannical or Fortified. I don't have to do both, I just have to get all the portals. And I have to hit 2800 rating. I'm gonna be honest with you, I completely forgot that I was under a bridge. I, I fully expected myself to log in and be <laughs> at the top of the tower in Valdraken. So this is uh, different, let's put it that way. Okay, well let's see, the first thing I want to do, oh Jesus, the first thing I want to do is mount up and not jump off this cliff. It's not a cliff, it's just a path. Anyway, the first thing I want to do is queue up for more time walking. We basically, in the, the, what I'm going to do in this episode is do all the weekly stuff. So I'm going to go and grab the Khazra quest for the time walking. We're going to try and queue up for some time walking dungeons. And while we're doing all of that, we're going to also go ahead and just probably do a time rift coming up here in 20 minutes. Going to grab that weekly. Going to grab this weekly because it's going to be uh, world quests. Is it world quests? Yes, five world quests and 3,000 rep. We'll get that done in no time. Grab the Great Walt for the 28 gold for free. Flying over here, we're going to grab the five heroic dungeon quests as well because it gives me a piece of champion tier gear. That's always good. Now we can check the mailbox. We just have a recovered item. That's not exactly ideal. Actually, no, I didn't even put anything on the auction house. No wonder I don't have anything fucking sold. Look at how many Welpling Shadow Flame Crest fragments I have. That's from grinding... <laughs> All of that Dream Surge Coalescence to buy our purples. That's ridiculous. Wait, I have some kind of quest to turn in here. Hello. Yes, thank you for the gold. I appreciate that. Meet the Druids investigating the Dream Surge. That's another weekly quest we can take care of. I need to queue up for the dungeon for Dragonflight. To, no, not Dragonflight. Time walking. Yes. Wait, we still get the satchel? I thought you wouldn't get that. Or is that like a daily thing? I don't understand. I thought you wouldn't get that anymore once you're 70. Because I, I felt like I stopped getting it. Maybe I'm crazy. Or rather, not 70, but 60. Because I remember not getting it anymore. Just getting the time work badges once I was 60. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like once per day you get to... Not get to, but you get the reward. I don't know. Well, we're going to find a group for that anyway. And we're going to be shaping the dream surge. So while I wait for the time rift, I'm going to fly around and collect all the little dream surge coalescence I can. Because that'll give me a champion piece of loot. That's always good. We're going to make that the weapon. This weapon damage is pretty good. I also realize now that I could have collected less Dream Surge Coalescence because now I need to collect another hundred and I'm not going to have anything to really spend it on other than the pets and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this uh, World Quest because World Quests also give you Dream Surge Coalescence and we need a bunch of that. Oh, and just uh, killing enemies apparently also gives you Dream Surge Coalescence. That's good. The reason we're doing the quest is because gold. I want, I want gold. I want a lot of gold. <laughs> I'm going to need craft items. What I'm going to do on this character, which is going to be a little bit different from the other characters I've done, is I'm not going to craft 437 item level stuff. I'll craft it with the free enchanted uh, worm crest that you get for finishing the Lone Niffin campaign thing with Abaras and everything where you kill Sarkareth. But I am not going to make any other any of my own. I'm just going to use all the crests to upgrade stuff. And then when I feel like I'm ready to do 16s, I'm going to try and get aspect crests and then we'll st start crafting. Because by the end of the last episode, with the whatchamacallit with the paladin i was just struggling to get enough gold to do repairs 
let alone crafts. So <laughs> I don't want to run into that same issue again. That would really suck. Just got to keep my eye on the clock so I don't miss the uh, time rift that's coming up. Tempestrian is being empowered by the Dream Surge. Let's see if we can make it to that. There's also, ah, uh, there's is Tempestrian. What's this? Huh? I guess my add-on is wrong or is this marker? I think the add-on is wrong, not the marker. I don't think Blizzard tends to make that kind of mistake. So where the heck is Tempestrian? It says he's up from here. Oh yeah, I see people over there. Very nice. Oh, okay, he's going to fly. He's, he's out of here. He doesn't want nothing to do with us. Where are you going, buddy? Is he, is he going to land at some point? Is he going to become aggroable? Does he do a circle around the mountain before he lands? Am I about to circle around the mountain? And there's the corpse of Slagneros. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just see all these dragons following Tempestrian. So maybe he does end up over here where his little icon is. Yeah, it looks like he's going to land there where the icon is. That makes sense. So both of them were correct. Both the Blizzard one and the add-on were correct because this is where it shows him landing. It's gonna let somebody else handle this because I am sure it's like not gonna tank these hits. Do we have bloodlust for us? I'm gonna bloodlust. Does that give it to other people? I don't know if it gives it to, to other people while you're not in a group with them. And down he goes. How much Dream Surge Coalescence is that? That was quite a bit. I have 55 now. How much did I get from that actually? I'm checking my loot window. 25 for just one rare? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, and there's a Q pop. Let's hope we finish that within 10 minutes. That would be very nice if we did because I would really hate to miss the time rift. Black Rock Caverns. Holy shit. Okay, there's a demon hunter that just melted an entire group in like two seconds so i think we'll do this within 10 minutes let's see i wonder if i can tank this now actually i'm gonna use my defensive and just stand in it figure it out oh. <laughs> no i can't we're gonna immediately get back up we <laughs> And <laughs> pretend that didn't happen. I am going to step away now. Okay. I didn't trust it. People people trusted it and I didn't trust it this time. Oh, we got a ring, but I have better ones. So we're not going to use that. Uh, hold on. We said we can use the translocator thing. Put it over there to give it to people. Quickly, quickly step into it, friends. I'm going to use the totem cooldown reset thing. And totemic projection over here again. I'm trying to just remember the keybinds because I, I, I've slept since I last played. And apparently that's enough for me to forget literally everything about the class. Well, not everything, but my key binds, which are relatively important, I would like to imagine. Oh, hello. Well, I guess I'm stuck on absorbing duty. Yeah, I don't care. Let it transform. I don't want to sit here and just watch people kill the boss. I have to stand back in it now. I don't want it to transform. Stacks are high. Now I can't do it anymore. We're going to kick that so it moves over so we can cleave. There we go. We have one transform, but it didn't kill us. Honestly, I think all three could transform and we could probably still tank all of it. So I don't think like, it's a big deal, but I feel bad not doing mechanics. Oh, okay, we're doing this thing again. Okay, we're going to bloodlust for the rest of the group. I'm going to self-heal. I cannot CC the conflagration, so that's also good. I'm going to try and use my cooldowns. I was just so focused on surviving that I... Oh, no, I really don't like this pull. I really don't like it when tanks do this. I don't have my cooldown up. Attempt to electric boogaloo. Okay, we killed the ad pretty quickly there, so it wasn't so bad. And we didn't get the 10 stacks on the boss, so <laughs> that probably also helped. Yeah, I can already see that I really need to make my weak auras, because I am not using this efficiently. Like, I'm not using my Maelstrom weapon procs enough, I'm not using my Storm Strike enough, I just need something to help me with the awareness around these, so I don't have to stare at my bars, and I can actually move around and do stuff. And I also feel like I'm using uh, Maelstrom weapon procs before I have 10, which is not good. Here, luckily, we seem to have enough melee. We're just going to hope that the meteor doesn't actually drop on top of the, uh, whatchamacallit, ranged, the one ranged character we have. But the ranged character seems to be stacking on top of us so that the meteor, meteor doesn't murder us, which is always good. And there's the meteor. We all split the damage so it didn't actually kill anyone. That's always good. That's always good. That's always good. It's always good when it's always good. I'm also not using my dogs often enough. Yeah, I just need to set up my weak auras that's for sure something i should do i think when i wait for what they're called researchers under fire i'll try to set up some weak auras just something basic to have and then i'll refine it as i keep playing and there we go uh, i'm going to leave instance group because i need to make it on time for the time rift and it looks like we are indeed just on time two minutes until it starts very good I'm gonna grab the weekly quest and then we'll just do the time rift the reason i really want to do the time rifts is because i want to get the trinkets from these vendors i'm not sure what's best i'm assuming that any of them is going to be a massive upgrade on the 123 item level trinket that I have from way back when, but I'm not sure which one of these would be the best. I think the haste one here that gives me a bunch of haste, the paracuzzle fragment of Azanoth, I think that might be good. The Sulphurus one is always fun. It's just straight up raw damage. Paracausal fragment of Doomhammer can't be wrong either with that one. I could put it into Storm Strike, but that will immobilize me, so I have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I think I could do that. So I think I'll get the Doomhammer one and the one that gives me haste, which is the, no, not Sulphurus. Where is the, there it is, the fragment of Azanoth. Enough. 
So yeah, it looks like this is starting. I have to report in. I always forget that I need to talk to Soridormi first. Okay, I need to resolve the paradox. That's just right-clicking on this, right? Which one of these? This one. There we go. We resolve this one. It'd be nice if we could get the full bar, but I don't think there's many people here. And the people that are here are just sitting on top of the pillars waiting for the boss to spawn in. Very nice. We're going to pick up an extra quest item that's going to give us some resources that we need. We have three of these boxes. All of them have been unlocked. We have an encapsulated destiny that's actually going to give us a guaranteed reward. We're going to use that. Oh, we also have a satchel of helpful goods that's good that's gonna give us 194 item yeah it's weird that i'm getting those honestly I don't, i'm not sure why i'm getting those oh shit i didn't notice that i can go inside can i mount i can mount okay let's go yay we participated in the fight and there he goes complete one time rift we got the delighted delayed the dilated time capsule we can get another veteran weapon with that that's what i'll use it on there's a quest item over there we're gonna grab that quest item jesus i'm gigantic i think i, I still had time warp on me I, I was just huge i mean i'm dummy thick at the best of times but with bloodlust I am gigantic, just ginormous, an absolute unit, if you will. We're going to open up the contained power causality. That's going to give us some stuff. We're going to use this, use this, use this. We're going to use the dilated time capsule to get a weapon. Versatility mastery. Oh, okay. So we can really only get this one that gives versatility mastery. I'll take versatility mastery. It's fine. It's still quite a bit better than having a 366 weapon. That's for sure. Need to reapply flame tongue. I'll just reapply everything while I'm at it. And now the question is, now the question is, do I have, I have enough. 1.8k. That's actually more than enough. We're going to start with the Paracausal Fragment of Azanoth, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Or should I grab the Doom? Nah, I'll, I'll grab this. Give me haste. I want more haste. We have a Serrated Parasite. Oh, it's wiggling. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to see that. No, I'm just going to learn it. Oh, shit. I knocked over my phone. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how loud that was. But yeah, I don't. I did not want to see that anymore. Guys. <laughs> 398. That was a lot of item level. That was a lot of item level. Now I can actually get rid of my macro. I'm just going to edit it. I'm not going to get rid of it. And when I have the Doombringer or whatever, sorry, not the Doombringer, the Doomhammer, I'm going to make a macro for Stormstrike that's going to use Doom uh, Doomhammer or use the Trinket whenever I have my thingy thing. All right, I'm going to fly over to Researchers Under Fire and try to get into a group for that. Doing that would actually... Have I actually collected 100 Dream Search Coalescence? No, I haven't. And that one that I just picked up didn't actually give me any Dream Search Coalescence. It just gave me the Sh Welpling Shadow Flame Crest Fragments. That's annoying. Hmm. Should I continue collecting these or should I just go for the researchers under fire? I think I'll go for the researchers under fire and then I'll come back and finish up the dream search coalescence weekly. While I wait for the researchers under fire, I'll try to make a weak aura at least to just have male strong weapon procs tracked so that I can see how many stacks I have because I feel like I've been really, really, really bailing to use it at 10 stacks where I either use it before I have 10 stacks or I don't use it quickly enough when I do have the 10 stacks. So I just waste a bunch of uh, stack applications that I could have used. So yeah, I'll make a weak aura for that at least while I wait for this group. Gotta make sure I just pick up the Worthy Ally Loam Niffin quest because that'll give us another piece of loot. It'll be veteran, but maybe it's like better stats than something we have. So it's worth picking up. Plus it's a bunch of gold potentially. You get a good chunk of gold from just doing it but then you get even more gold if you uh get the extra coin satchel thing which i was lucky enough to get on the paladin that helped a lot but yeah weak aura and finding a group time we'll first find the group so we're gonna go for custom research is what we're gonna type in there's nothing reese yeah it doesn't look like there's a group together so i guess we should make one. Oh, for just random custom groups i can actually make a title and whatnot because i don't have a okay usually it prevents me from doing that because i have my like uh i don't have the sms protect thing so if like I try to do a start a group for here, it doesn't let me see. It doesn't let me because the SMS protector thing. But apparently that's not a thing for when you do custom. So it's completely fucking useless as bot protection. But oh well. Yeah, we're going to list under custom PVE, researchers under fire. Actually, I'm going to edit that. I'm going to say war mode off in brackets. Just so people know that it's war mode off. They can turn it off or they can ignore it if they don't want to do it with war mode off. All of that stuff. I'm going to keep that open. And yeah, there you go. We're just going to accept anyone that comes over. I don't care what the role is what their item level is i just need a bunch of people to join me and while that's going on we're going to make a weak aura well we managed to put a group together that is uh how many is that it's the uh, eight groups of five that's 40 people so i think we can do it i also managed to set up like a just bare bones very bare bones where the hell are the ticks i wanted to make a maelstrom weapon stack tracker and i have the ticks set up and it's showing the ticks now but when i don't have any stacks it's not showing ticks i do not understand what the heck is up with that and the text is missing as well it's supposed to say how many stacks i have i don't really get it i'll figure that out once we're done with this because this is about to start it's 3 30 it's titan lockdown which means okay here we go we're just going to zoom through this i don't want to show too much of this because it's not like anybody does 
doesn't know what to do. The events are basically self-explanatory. I'm just, I think the important bit is to show you what things I'm doing to get loot. And I don't have to show the full process of doing these because I think I'll spend plenty of time in LFR because yes, I will do LFR as well. Actually, I'm thinking about it now. Do I have a reason to run LFR? Maybe trinkets? Okay, yeah, it's definitely, it's the, the, the Maelstrom weapon tracker thing definitely bugged out. I, I did not make that correctly, but... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Just need to sit down and actually work on it. Oh, we haven't killed the Titan forces and I'm trying to collect the 50 things. I really hate these parts where you have to collect these things. It's so slow and boring because there's not enough of them to just grab all of them and put them in. Almost done, approaching the last few phases. All right, it's just the last boss. Are these like bosses or mini bosses? They're basically rares. I'm gonna put down a Windrush totem over there so people can get out of this more quickly. Utility, woo. Very nice, nothing stops to research. We get the purple bag. Let's see what we get from the purple bag. We get a champion ring because that's, of course, I don't think I've done anything. Sorry, not done. I don't think I've gotten anything other than rings from this damn thing ever. But it is more crit, or sorry, more haste than crit. So we will replace our crit haste ring with that. So we can keep the haste mastery one because these stats are really, really good. What is this thing? It is a trinket. 385? Oh, it's an intellect trinket. Never mind. We also got unearthed frag fragrant coins. We're going to put that over here next to our other, uh, like, faction thing. What the hell? Why am I? Okay. I wanted, I think my brain wanted me to vendor stuff. There we go. So my brain just forced me to mount this instead of my flying mount. I'm gonna put this as junk so I can sell it in the future because it's never worth anything. This as well. But yeah, what I really wanted to do was just go and turn in the Loam Niffin quest and spend my unearthed fragrant coins because you can spend those to actually get Drake crest fragments and Welpling crest fragments. The Drake ones really don't matter at all, but the... Uh, what are they called? The Drake ones will be kind of nice. You buy them here from Spinsoa. I'm just going to buy all of them because when you do it, the when you get the 60, you have enough to buy all of them. I've also gotten a splintered spark of shadow flame. We're going to go over to this lady. We're going to grab the quest and we're going to turn in the quest. And now we have two splintered sparks of shadow flame as well as a bit of rep. So that's nice. I have not yet gotten enough rep for this. I'll have to do some world quests. I'll come back to finish that off later when I try to grab some gold. And I'm also going to have to do the actual full quest line for this because that way I'm going to get a bunch of flights stones and I am sorely in need of flight stones because I do not have many flight stones at all. Let me actually open up these boxes here real quick. That gives me a bunch of fragments. Good. I'm going to turn those fragments. That is a lot of fucking god that's a lot of them. Okay we have three of these. We can actually use that to upgrade. Oh never mind I don't have a champion tier piece. I just have the ring but I don't want to upgrade the ring. I'm going to upgrade the weapon once I get it. Oh we got the bug mount from Blizzard. Thank you Blizzard. I already have one. Thanks for still sending me this whenever I get the achievement on a new character. But yeah what we're going to do now is I'm going to hmm what should I do? I don't have any time gated content. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break. I'm going to finish up some more work. I'll be back and uh, I think the next thing I want to do is I'll just decide when I'm back. Anyway just doing a quick uh, time rift. It does not look like we'll get all the points or maybe we will I don't, i'm not sure right now oh we didn't get the purple box that's unfortunate oh i haven't done this one before i still have the crank shot i think i'm gonna use that to see how much dps it does <laughs> oh it's it's definitely doing a lot it was an easy 100k dps what the fuck i'm stunned for a very long time though oh no he's calling tentacles and i'm stunned oh jesus i was stunned so long i couldn't even get out of the next tentacles what the fuck at least my dogs are summoned they're beating the shit out of him a little bit oh my god <laughs> I barely had time to move and I got stunned again. What the heck am I supposed to do? At least this cosmetic item is not wiggly. Getting tired of the wiggly ones. That didn't really give me many um, paracausal flakes. So I'm not sure if this is worth doing until tomorrow. I'll just do it tomorrow probably to get the other trinket because it's going to take me too long. I'm going to have to keep coming back here to do these runs. And it's just, I don't feel like it's worth it. I think the next thing I want to do is actually the Farak Assault because I can get a bit of, uh, I think I can get a Drake crest from that as well as one champion piece. So it's worth doing. I still haven't collected all the Dream Surge Coalescence, so I'm going to try and grab some while I'm on my... What the fuck? Why did it give me so many? I mean, I'm not going to argue with it, but <laughs> it's weird. Feels buggy. I love that one. That one just, uh, that goes like underneath. I just need a few more, so I think I'll do this first, and then I'll go do the Rack Assault. Yeah, we're all done. We even have 12 extra. So I'm going to go turn in that weekly quest. Wait. Shaping the Dream Surge. 68 out of 100. But I have... Oh, I had some left over from before. Okay, so I do need to collect more. I thought I needed to collect fewer than it. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> 
And that's all of them. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to go shape the dream surge for our first. And we'll get a champion weapon to use as our main hand. There we go. We actually get 10 Drake's Shadow Flame Crest fragments from that. That's also very good. I'd like to browse your goods. Now I can choose what I get. And I'm going to choose to get a Haste Mastery one-hander. Well, yeah, I mean, that's fucking perfect. Thank you. Reapply our weapon buffs because we have a new weapon. Very nice. Look at that. Now we can actually upgraded but i think i can only upgrade it once because i have very few flight stones so while i fly through valdraken i'm going to quickly upgrade it i'm still kind of broke so i'm not going to put on any enchants really because i really want to craft gear rather than get enchants because the item level needs to go up so that i can have an easier time getting into groups because early on item level is king if you have a low item level people do not want to invite you no matter what unless they can see like alterating or something which is not the case for me because it's just not going to show any any kind of rating for me because my alts are not connected to each other or rather my characters are not connected to each other. There's no way to trace them to one another other than my videos, I guess. <laughs> but I'm not exactly popular enough for people to know who I am in game. What am I doing? Oh, right. I wanted to upgrade my gear instead of ramble. I think I'll only be able to upgrade it once. Okay, maybe twice. Yeah, twice. Okay. I'll take twice. Very nice. That's a three out of eight champion weapon. Very nice indeed. And now we're going to go over to the Farak Assault and we're going to hope for another champion tier weapon. That would be ridiculously good. Yeah, the champion tier thing that you get from the Farak Assault is actually from doing, um, from killing the boss that comes at the end of uh, the Farak Assault encounter. The rest of the stuff in Farak Assaults gives you veteran tier gear, or it actually gives you explore, no, adventure tier gear, the just the blue drops that drop from the enemies in the encounter. But the reward from the chest is a veteran tier piece. So with Dream Surges around, it's not really worth doing it. It's worth doing everything in the Farak Assault just for the flight stones and the gold and whatnot. And if you want rep for your character as well, it's really good for the renown. But yeah, look at this, just doing the, looting the Suffusion Crucible and a Suffusion Mold will give us 50 flight stones that's great and 84 gold as well so while i'm here i'm just gonna grab all the other quests as well because we're gonna get some other stuff nine flight stones and a suffused band why not because i'm just doing this anyway this will give me another nine flight stones may as well i think there's one more quest to pick up yeah this will give me 10 flight stones and just a bunch of uh rep so how do you do these uh suffusion camps or whatever you want to call them rack assaults basically there's rares that you can spawn in to spawn in a rare, you need to loot the... Let me try and find one to show you. Hold on. Let me actually first kill this thing, then I'll be able to show you. But yeah, this is one of the rares that spawns in. There's a bunch of different types of rares that can spawn in. To spawn them in, you need to loot this. To loot this, or you need to get five wards of Agira. To get wards of Agira, you kill the regular NPCs. Once you kill enough of these rares, uh, the rares and opening these items will actually give you... I don't have any currently in my inventory, but what they give you is the blue wards, which are called wards of Ferak. Once you have five wards of Ferak, you can actually loot the Suffusion Mold over there that will also summon a really big enemy to fight. A really big... I mean, all of these are guys are pretty fucking big, but the one that it summons is actually a, like a rare rare? I, I don't know, like a mini boss let's call it that a mini boss and you can keep farming that guy he also drops burning keys when you get enough burning keys which is three of them you can open up this secured shipment so these ever burning keys you need three of them that'll give you a veteran tier piece and it'll give you a good chunk of gold i believe so i, I think i remember getting 800 or so but i can't remember for sure ah there it is forge master craglin so when you kill him or rather when you open up the suffusion mold you get to fight him okay i should be a little bit more careful i'm not exactly as geared as i am on my other characters <laughs> can't exactly tank these hits to the face bonks to the noggin one might say okay we got an ever burning key for killing him i think you get one for looting the suffusion mold as well but i'm not 100 percent sure okay we have five wards of agira so we're going to open up this that is going to give us this uh, the quest credit and it's going to summon one of these mo uh, mobs the rares or whatever you want to call them there's a bunch of different types of rares that can spawn in and they all fight differently obviously we have two of the same ones spawned in right now because somebody else also spawned in some mads or some uh, rares or whatever you want to call them. But yeah, for looting the thing that I looted over there, I got some wards of Ferrak. Now I have three of them because I got one from the rare that we killed. The rares don't necessarily always drop them. We got our fourth one. We just need one more and then we can loot these diffusion mold. Need to take care of my health bar. Okay, somebody summoned in some more rares. Hopefully I get my last ward of Ferrak here. Oh, somebody also summoned in the Forge Master. Oh, and uh, I mentioned the boss. The boss spawns in basically once you get the fill the bar to 100%. He's going to fly in from like the side of the map and it's going to take a while for him to get there but once he does he will you'll be able to fight the boss and the boss will drop loot the loot only drops once per uh whatchamacallit why do i have aggro on this what the heck time to pop cooldowns i guess but yeah the boss only gives you loot once a week so there's not much reason to farm him other than that unless you want to help your friends out i guess i am struggling to survive please somebody get aggro people keep spawning in the rares and stuff and i'm just struggling to survive because this guy's beating the shit out of me i got my wards of farak at least from killing the rares 
I think we just need to finish this guy off. I'm going to drop all my cooldowns on him again. Well, that's him gone. I have three ever burning keys now. No, I have two, but I'll get one from opening the suffusion mold, I think. And that'll also bring him in. And then when we kill him, I think we'll get enough percent to summon the boss. So I think it'll all work out. We're going to interrupt this so that the dot doesn't get reapplied to our friend here. And turn on friendly health bars just to make sure that I can actually heal my friends here. Yeah, like this guy. I'm going to help you out. Well, I'm going to try. Okay, here's the boss again, or the mini boss, whatever. Oh, people are just piecing out because the bar is at 100%, so they don't give a shit about this guy anymore. Okay, thanks. I'm just going to drop some heals on me. Oh, Jesus. Get me away. Oh my God, he hurts. What the hell? Yeah, I'm going to release spirit. I don't want to fucking fight that when there's nobody helping me. They all like tapped it, which increases its maximum health and like keeps its percent health the same. So they basically healed it and fucked off and made it harder for me to fight. Just going to loot this, whatever the heck it is. Yeah, I don't want to deal with Kraglin right now. I'm just going to go wait for the boss. I'm hoping that there's some kind of protection paladin or normal well, protection paladin. There, I hope that there's some kind of tank here is what I'm trying to say, because sometimes there isn't a tank here and it can get really, really messy. We're just going to quickly do this quest fucking tree i can't see anything from the trees i need to zoom in there we go completed that quest we're gonna turn it in real quick still haven't killed enough of these i've only killed one oh, and we can turn this quest in as well i think that one that's the one yeah it gives 50 flight stones hell yeah i need many 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 flight stones we have 145 again so we can maybe upgrade the weapon to four out of eight champion that would be good there's Farak in the distance look at the absolute fucking unit status that he has i just really hope there's a tank here because otherwise the mini boss is gonna be well not the mini boss the the boss is gonna be really rough i see people here what's this this is a balanced druid a couple of balanced druids oh i'm just gonna pop my shit and i'm gonna hope for the best honestly he's at least not hitting me well he turned towards me but he's doing his little aoe breath thing he is very loud okay we have orc fist which is a monk i'm hoping that's a brewmaster monk and not a wind we wind weaver wind walker monk i still haven't had time to fix my fucking weak aura for the maelstrom stacks it's just straight up broken as fuck right now i'm gonna use our aoe healing thing it looks like Orc Fist is a tank, so we are going to be able to do this quite easily. As long as there's a tank, it's super fucking easy to do this. Well, a tank and a shit ton of DPS, it looks like we have both. And he's he's gone. He's he's dead. He jumped up in the air, and now he, he dropped back down. Okay, so what do we get? We get a... Excuse me? Doesn't he drop a champion piece of loot? I have I have misled you. What a waste of my fucking time. That is, uh, that is very disappointing. Do I have three burning keys? I do have three burning keys. We'll go grab the, the chest or whatever. That is so disappointing. Pointing. I'm gonna kill this as well, I hope. Oh no. We're gonna try and kill it. There's somebody helping me. We're gonna knock it up. Never mind. We can't knock it up. It's already fucking flying. How the hell am I supposed to knock it up? Get me the doggos back. I need the doggos. It would seem somebody else has aggro, so this is good. Oh no, here comes Kraglin again. God dang it. Okay, I got my quest kill, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna grab the suffusion chest or the, the, the cool equipment chest, whatever it is. It's also veteran tier. 800 gold though. I'll take 800 gold. Your boy broke. I need the gold. I'm going to run away because I do not feel like dying to that guy again there's no reason for me to kill him anymore i just need the primal night flames what do i get for this quest nine flight stones am i gonna bother for nine flight stones i may as well i'm right here okay we're gonna land over here and we're gonna fight this primal night flame yes come over here i got something to tell you let me whisper in your ear there we go that's three out of four so how does one grab their attention how do i knock them down out of the air that's something I haven't figured out to this day. Like, I've done this a bunch and I still don't know how to do it. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just fight this one. Kick that. And the other one that he does, we can just move out of. Yeah, this one, we could just move to the side. I'm going to try and heal myself through this. I didn't have a kick for that. I don't have much for that at all. I just have heals. We're going to use our stone skin totem to reduce the physical damage we're taking. That's the most I can do right now. Use maelstrom procs so that I can heal myself. Keep using maelstrom procs to heal myself. Right now, my priority isn't damage. It's surviving. Okay, we have another set of cooldowns here. Oh man, this this is a bit of a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. This is not uh, not easy. Okay, there we go. Now I've done all the quests. I don't have to keep doing this. I'm just gonna. You, you have fun with that. I just want to turn in the quest. Get me out of here. Okay, so I was completely fucking wrong about the quest here. That's uh, that's my bad. Let me check the world quests here. I don't need that. That's haste mastery. I have crit versatility. I do kind of need that. That would be nice. And the five Drake shadow flame crests wouldn't be bad either. Oh, but completing this is such a pain in the ass, actually. Holy shit. I guess if I find a group, it's not. Anyway, I'm going to go take a short break and then we'll continue the uh, <laughs> fresh level 70 gearing trip. Okay, one thing I forgot to do actually is to set my hearthstone to Valdraken. That would be very, very useful. So I don't have to take the portal from Morgamar. And I also forgot to do the heritage of the high mountain. 
I was supposed to do that at the beginning of the previous episode, but I completely forgot to be honest. So we're going to go do that now. Hopefully the teleport to High Mountain is still available. No, wait, we have more attendees to collect. Just a hundred, but bit by bit. Oh, speaking of which, the fucking broom is so cool. It's not, you know, it doesn't really fit with what I've got going on for Transmog right now, but it is very, very cool. And yes, we do still have the Thunder Totem teleport available. No, not available, available with a V, not a W. God dang it. And we have the Heritage of the High Mountain and we have our... <laughs> Astral Recall, back to Valdraken, because I don't need to be here. This might actually be a really good way... Oh, hell yeah, actually. This is going to be a really good way to get to Neltharion's Lair. I just teleport to High Mountain through Orgrimmar. I don't have to fly from Azuna or from Old Dalaran... Or Legion Dalaran, I should say. That'll be fucking cool. I, I like that. I'm smart sometimes. Ha! Yeah, let me use up these rep items. Oh, I have a fucking pet? Nice. Cool. And now let's vendor the stuff I don't need. I'll keep the Ward of Igira just because. And we're going to put this Wing Crest Scimitar onto the auction house. If it sells for... Um, how much is the posting cost? Three gold posting cost. I'm going to try and sell it a couple of times. If it doesn't sell, I'm just going to vendor it because I don't know how popular these items are. But yes, I have been thinking. There is basically nothing left for me to do other than wait for time rifts which one is starting here in 44 seconds. That's perfect. Uh, the reason I would wait for that is because I can buy myself another trinket. Uh, I also don't have a reason to run LFR. Maybe just to get the vault, actually. But then in the vault, I just get a... Yeah, I think I should run it for the vault. Is that my quickest choice to do, though? I'd love to get... Uh, at least three slots in the vault because that way I can get the socket. I'm not going to get any of the veteran tier loot for from, from the vault. Maybe if I get like a cloak or something or if I get the echo of Neltharian thing because those drop at champion tier and if ZV's explained to me that basically the tier that basically the item level that it would drop at in the raid is what the item level you get it at if you get it in the vault. So if that's the case I can actually get some champion tier loot from LFR and from getting it in the vault. And I really need to fix this weak aura what the heck is going on with this am i supposed to like kick it in the direction of the water okay yeah so maybe lfr is actually worth it just for the vault sockets or maybe getting a champion piece uh, of loot out of the vault although i'm not sure how i feel about running the uh dark Rift cloak because I, I feel very squishy right now maybe i won't feel as squishy later you know what fuck it i'm gonna queue for lfr and i'm gonna queue for time walking dungeons and we'll see what i get first hold on raid finder i'm gonna queue backwards basically i'd like well we're going to queue all of them is what I'm going to do. I defeat as many Blood Horde as possible. Where do I do that? Over there. Yeah, we're going to queue for Fury of Giants and Discarded Works. Okay, we're queued for everything. So we'll see how that goes. And I should also queue for Time Walking. Actually, I'll queue for Time Walking once I'm done with this. If I get a pop, I will just take it. I, I don't really care so much about this. This is just to give me something to do while I wait in the queue, really. Something to do while I wait in the queue. Oh, and we get a pop uh, for Fury of Giants. I'm just going to go immediate. Go in immediately. I don't care enough about the Time Rifts. Oh, we're on Zisk. Karn. Ooh, maybe I actually get the bomb dispenser. I would be okay with that. I'm gonna interrupt that thing. Give my friends movement speed. Let's go, buddies. I'm gonna relocate it over here so people keep getting movement speed. I have no idea if my build is any good at single target in the sense of, like, if the build that I have going on right now is any good at single target. I would imagine you would switch out the alpha wolf thing, but I don't know for sure because I just don't know about enough about the class right now. Or not, not specifically the class, but the spec. But you get what I mean. Okay, while we wait for everyone to group up, I'm gonna start making changes just to this weak aura because I really, 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 really don't like it right now because it's really fucking busted. Uh, we're going to convert this to an icon. Yeah, we're going to adjust these uh, clearly. 46 by 46. We'll do it at minus 200. We're going to accept that ready check. I don't have any food or anything. I haven't bought anything like that yet. And then we're going to have to adjust some conditions, but at least I'm going to see if how many stacks I have. I'm going to bloodlust because we bloodlust at the start of Ziskarn. We mash the bejesus out of Stormstrike. Yes, of course. Oh, it's not actually showing me the correct. Oh no, it's so busted. It, I should not have converted. I should just made a new one because right now it's using settings from when it was a bar and now it looks really fucking scuffed because it's showing me the duration of the buff at the same time as it's showing me the stacks at the same spot because of the settings i had it's so busted hold on I'll slow this guy down capacitor toad him right on top of him I'll grab that thing off of him and we'll use it if there's some sort of misplaced trap i'm not going to use it on any of these ones that are on the outer edge i'm just going to use it on the ones that are closer to the center because those are the ones that are going to give us more trouble when we're trying to run away from the tactical destruction which is coming in now we're just going to drop a totem here real 
real quick. Give some movement speed to the people that were closest to the explosion. Next week, car I make is going to be for the doggos. I need do I need to use the doggos more often. I just I never anticipate them being up as quickly as they are. There's a blast wave. We're going to step closer, so we get knocked back just a little bit. Here's another set of golems. We're going to hard switch to the golems. I'm going to drop a slow on that one. I'm going to drop a capacitor totem over there. That'll stun them. Okay, I'm just going to use my trap remover thing over here. Did people pick it up? People did pick it up. Fuck it. There's the tactical destruction. We're going to refresh our totem. That'll refresh the capacitor totem. Vlad, you don't use that that way. I'm not sure I'm a fan of totemic recall. I checked the build that I was looking at as like a guide and it doesn't seem to use totemic recall. I think it's really good, but maybe there's a lot more value in the other uh, abilities that the guild is or the guild guide is showing me that I don't recognize. So I don't know. Grab one of those, remove this trap that's closer to the inside. Boss is almost dead, so it doesn't really matter too much, but you have a totem that we can let us move a bit quicker. I'm going to move it over here again so people get even more movement speed for longer. Not more movement speed, but just for longer. That's all. Boss should be dead here before he does his next tactical dis destruction. Just move away from where the trap is spawning in. And there he goes. There is no trinky trink, unfortunately. That's okay, though. This is versatility mastery. Mine has crit mastery. I'm going to go greed for that. And we have Noltharian's shadow. Yeah, we'll join for that for sure. This is going faster than I expected it to, so that's really good. Looks like we're missing one person. Is it a DPS? No, it's a tank, Vlad. There's no other tank. <laughs> We're gonna go Ghost Wolf. We're gonna jump down here. We're gonna do our little bounce. We're gonna get hit by the fucking thing. That's not a good look. Please, I want a tank over here. I need an adult. Oh no, I am not standing in squirrelies on this character. Mm -mm. Squirrelies? What the fuck is a squirrely? Swirly. I think I'm getting focused even though I don't have aggro because the one tank we have is actually just on this worm, so I was getting focused. I'm gonna use a defensive here and just stand in it. I guess while we wait for a second tank, I can work on some weak auras after we're done clearing the trash because waiting for a tank takes a good while i'm just gonna eat it oh never mind i'm not gonna have to eat it because the boss or the boss the trash died oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh okay we're fine this is fine i am fine this is fine don't worry about it we're gonna give this person a res real quick they haven't already gotten one i'm just gonna keep casting it and i'm gonna work on my maelstrom weapon tracker i think i should just fucking delete it and start over i feel like that is the single best thing i could probably do right now okay so we're gonna make a new aura we're gonna make it a pre-made aura. We're gonna make it an icon. It's gonna be 40 by 40. That's fine. It's gonna track our buffs. It's gonna look for a maelstrom weapon. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And it's gonna be always show gray if not active. That works. We're gonna rename it to tracker. Just gonna add tracker to the end. Trigger. We want to see it always. That's good. At first, let's actually move it down in the display. Y offset. We said minus 200. Something like that. Let's make it minus 210. Make it look good. Maybe 200, uh, 220. Yeah, 220 is fine. And then we want to adjust what's being shown. Shown. So we have the number of stacks that's in the bottom right and the duration is just being shown somewhere else like there's no special text for duration I just I guess I'll keep it like this. This is fine I, I can deal with it like that for now if I see that it's not good I'll just call it a day and uh, if the aura is not found we want it to be gray That's fine if the actually what I want is if the stacks are lower than five I want it to be gray like I, I'm not gonna I don't benefit from it then. We're gonna add a condition. If the stacks equal 10, we want it to glow one. Yes, show visibility of the glow. So we want it to glow when we have 10 stacks and we want it to stop being desaturated. And also I'm gonna add alpha 70% when it's below five. I don't wanna change the color. Okay, and it's not working. Why is it not working? If the stacks are below five, it's supposed to desaturate and make the alpha 70%. If the stacks are equal to 10, then it's supposed to glow. It's like, I'm, what's not clear about that? Am I, am, like, what am I missing? Missing. What's wrong with this weak art? Like, what's wrong with these conditions? Okay, maybe I need to make a duplicate condition where if the aura is not found at all, it will do the same thing. Okay, yeah. So if it doesn't have any stacks and it's not present at all, it's going to ignore the... That's so stupid. That's beyond stupid. But it, apparently that's how it works. So now when we don't have it at all, it's going to be grayed out and uh, slightly transparent. When we have less than five stacks, it's going to continue to behave the same way. When we have more than five stacks, it's not going to do anything special. It's just going to be this over here, like the icon. And then when it reaches 10 stacks, it's going to glow. And I feel like that's going to be a decent indicator. Maybe I should move it closer to my character. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to go to display and we're going to lower this to like maybe 140 minus 140. Yeah, that'll be close to my character. 
I think that's really, really important. So I'm, I'm okay with keeping it there. And it looks like we're going. We even still have <laughs> sated. Okay, that's how well prepared this group is. I was not ready for that, honestly. I'm just going to let other people soak. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is LFR. There's going to be a bunch of people just running around and, like, dropping it over there. Ah, do I deal with that or do I not deal with that? Let's soak this. I think I have to deal with that. Otherwise, we're just not going to clear it because nobody else is dealing with it. Fun and interactive gameplay of casting Lightning Bolt at the boss while soaking these areas. I gotta go soak this one as well. I'm gonna actually have to probably heal myself. At least people are grabbing the small soaks. That's something. So, how's your day going? Oh, hey, somebody actually decided to join me. Help me soak all that. Okay, there's a pool over there. We're gonna go soak that. Just gonna get some 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 light zoog-zooging in while I'm moving over there. You know what? Here, you have some dogs. Maybe the dogs can actually entertain the boss for a little while. Oh, no, 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 no. And I don't even have my thing. I'm gonna hop, hop soon, hop soon. Hop! Come on, let me get me out of the fucking lava and into this lava. This is the good lava that I should be standing in. This is obviously not how this is supposed to go. If you're not familiar with the raid, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to stack these pools on top of each other, not take them really fucking far away because they're meant to be soaked. So see this person that just stood over here just called magic ninja they have not done the raid before and all they do is press their damage buttons and kind of zoog zoog i do the same but i also do try to do the mechanics every now and again there seem to be other people soaking so i can actually do some dps now yeah i'll let you guys take care of that so i can actually hit the boss for like at least one second okay we have the pools we're gonna stack them up over here i'm gonna use a defensive i'm gonna use a group heal this is probably the only time we're gonna have them stacked so we may as well just make sure I'm standing in this. Perfect. Here we go. We're at 10 stacks. Our thing is glowing. That sounds weird when I say it like that. I don't get it. At least I can reach the boss with my lightning bolts. I can do a bit of damage like that. Now I need to heal myself a bit. Oh, no. Fuck that. I'm hopping back. Hey, somebody's helping me again. Thank you. Aruka. Thank you very much. Seriously, my guy? You were like a step away from it and you didn't fucking step into it that's just rude actually it's not rude they just don't know at least the boss is dead and i don't have to keep doing this anymore i really fucking hate running lfr <laughs> running lfr sucks ass so fucking bad okay this is crit versatility i have crit versatility as well with more crit so the belt i have is actually better but this is higher item level so we're gonna roll on it actually right now i want as much agility as i can get and there we go we got the agility belt so even though the stats are worse the secondary stats are worse i feel okay taking it because it's an increase in agility without me having to spend flight stones people are just dropping in this guy didn't have enough health after dipping into the lava and he just dropped down and died i think it's a warrior yeah it's a warrior and he didn't use heroic leap maybe he used heroic leap in the lava i've made that mistake before what happens when you use heroic leap in the lava is as you drop to the bottom of the lava never a good feeling i'm standing in the purple stuff here not the swirlies but the giant area because the giant area actually gives you 50 percent more damage never mind we're getting moved out of it this looks like a preserver it is a preserver we're going to make sure that we interrupt its casts or rather its cast of cleansing dragon flame that's what we really need to interrupt the rest of it we're just going to knock up and cc and whatnot but the interrupt i'm going to save for that never mind it's dead so it doesn't matter you can kick whatever there we go the crash the crash the trash has been cleared i'm just thinking of crash lightning constantly because it's the coolest spell i've ever used well, we have a fellow naked transmog enjoyer very sneaky rogue very naked rogue all he has on is pants but pants are a lot more than i had on on tabisa all right let's see how uh, lfg hello what the fuck was that my, my i've never seen that before my entire screen froze what the hell but yeah i wanted to say let's see how <laughs> lfg or lfr Echo of Neltharian goes. It's actually so easy on LFR because they just make a lot of the things trivially easy. Um, okay. Do either of the tanks know how to do the fight? Uh, I don't think they do. No, no, I don't think they do. I don't think they do at all. Um, okay, we have our totem still going. There's the rushing darkness. I'm gonna try not to get silenced. People are breaking walls. Okay, this was such a shit show. You're supposed to... <laughs> this is not... This is not how that works. This is not how that works at all. The druid... <laughs> <laughs> taking him to the wrong spot it's okay i mean i guess we could just leave the do it like this and we'll give people movement speed okay we got a roar so we kind of wasted our thing uh, re relocate where the fuck is he going what the fuck is going on <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? 
okay, the tank is uh, using raid warning, so we're just gonna ignore him. I don't really need you to rage at people and raid warning in an LFR. Um, the boss is at 69%. Nice. Oh boy, I'm gonna run through this and I'm gonna heal myself when I get low, like right about now. Can I don't think we can do this would have to raid dead i i'm gonna go stand and stuff i'm gonna beat the shit out of the boss but i'm gonna stand and stuff that's for sure here we go i'm sure it's not gonna reincarnate now well that was um what should i call this interesting i think interesting is what i'm gonna call it yeah maybe the paladin and the warrior can get along better than the paladin and the druid got along because they didn't at all I'm gonna use your little hop to not take fall damage is your tank about to die <laughs> from lava it looked like it it looked like it okay yeah that's uh that, that was a thing so for the uninitiated basically what happened is uh he does a knockback the knockback is supposed to be used to break walls the little walls that he pulls puts up the druid tank was holding aggro and pointing the knockback into the wall and then the paladin was taunting off of him and keeping the boss in a, the wrong location so he, the circle dropped and it split the group because the boss does a knockback then waits a bit and then does the big circle that kills everyone if they stand in it and it does a lot of damage if you run through it so yeah we're just hoping that you know the tanks know what to do this time around i think the paladin has his idea of how it's supposed to be done a lot of people get up in arms about it being clockwise or counterclockwise i think it really doesn't fucking matter unless you're doing it on mythic and we sure as fuck aren't right doing it on mythic right now so just go the way the group wants you to go i guess but for the most part people and pugs and people in LFR go clockwise. So we move the boss towards where he's standing, or where we're standing right now, and we keep going in that direction. We used a time warp at the start. That's not ideal, but you know, it's whatever. I don't have rushing darkness, so I don't have to reposition. I am moving just a little bit so that I don't get um, silenced by the rushing darkness that other, other people have going on. Uh, that's, that's not how we're supposed to do this. The other tank needs to taunt after the calamitous strike goes through. I imagine the tank that I have muted is now cussing up a storm and raid warning. <laughs> So I'm glad I have it muted. There's the Calamitous Strike. Okay, okay. Well, at least the Taunt Swap went through, even though we didn't go in the right direction. I don't know. I'll take what I can get, dude. As long as we kill it, I really, I don't really care. We're going into the middle section now, I guess. Okay, that's good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I did not miss LFR from the previous series. Let me tell you that. I'm hoping I only do it once because jesus christ this is not fun the, the best thing is like we're gonna kill it i'm not angry at any of these players they're, they're they're doing fine they don't know what to do but they're doing fine it's 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 okay okay he's going into p2 so we don't have to worry about the circles anymore and we just need to hope that people don't get split up too bad yeah like that person's gonna get cut off this person's gonna get cut off and now what we do is we switch to these guys yeah i think since we made it through p1 mostly intact i think we're okay we just need people to do wall breaks i'm hoping i get rushing darkness because then i can do a wall break and guarantee it there's the wall break i wanted just making my way over to this I'm gonna drop a totem back there for my friends that are stuck on the other side keep using the doggos i keep forgetting to use the doggos use the maelstrom bolts there is the rushing darkness i'm going to try and wall break with that because i don't trust the tanks at all like at all i intentionally wall broke there again because i do not trust the tanks okay we're finishing off the final ad of p2 and here comes p3 that's wonderful now ideally once the ads come out here is when we would bloodlust but somebody bloodlusted at the start or well they time warped but you get what i mean i i, I really don't know where we oh okay the tank got knocked back so oh ebon destruction we need to get into the little circles okay there were a few left i didn't realize that he was casting it because he got moved around a whole bunch and that confused me reapply doggos we go there's the ebon destruction we're gonna go in that direction we're gonna go as far as we can this is as far as we can go. The reason I go far is because I can move far. So the people that are a bit slower, they can grab the ones that are closer and still clear more portals. You clear the portals by standing in them when Ebon Destruction goes off. I'm meant to find shelter. I can't really make it to any other one. So we're just going to grab these. That's going to suck because there's going to be a lot of portals left. I have aggro. I'm going to use my defensive here. It would really help if the tanks moved him closer to where the portals are. Okay, we've lost our tank again. Okay, we are now moving closer to where the portals are. That's good. Just trying to make it into this one that's further away very good bonk all the ads it's good to really like tunnel into the ads because they will kill your tanks because one of the tanks or both of the tanks at the same time will have calamitous strike debuff which increases physical damage taken that's never good transmog we have a tier piece we're gonna roll on the tier piece why not i didn't win it that's unfortunate there's no call to madness or anything like that so we are going to uh, did i loot the boss actually hold on yes i did now i can leave okay we're back in the timer spot it took me 40 minutes well not 40 30 ish minutes 
to do LFR because we waited for a tank for quite a bit, but that let me make my little weak aura. I'm going to make another weak aura that's going to hmm, show me the cooldown of my uh, doggos. Oh, I'm thinking, how do I do that? I mean, I know exactly how to do that. I just make a weak, I'm just going to make the weak aura right now while I'm sitting in queue for the rest of LFR. We're going to make a new aura, remade auras, icon. I may as well make it 40. I don't care. I'll, I'll figure out where I want to position these on my screen. Cooldowns, feral spirit, and we're going to make it basic show on ready so that it only shows up when we're, when it's ready to use. I don't need to see it the rest of the time, basically, because I just need to pop it as it comes up. Call that just feral spirit. I think that's fine. Don't need that text. Uh, the glow, I don't. Yeah, I'm actually going to just add a glow. So whenever it is actually off of cooldown, I want it to be glowing. And I actually wanted to keep bouncing on my screen. What does the shake look like? It goes left and right. I wanted to bounce. The bounce is going to be more annoying, so I'm going to pay more attention to it. Yes, that's very good. Uh, and we're just going to move it a little bit before I accept that queue. Let's say, what is the Maelstrom weapon tracker? It's minus 140. So we're going to do minus 40 and we're going to do minus 140. That's going to put it next to the Maelstrom weapon tracker. So, oh, this is a group in progress. Okay. So how many stacks of determination are we working with? Just one. So they only, di only died once. That's okay. I just realized I should probably be using Wind Fury Totem. Who is in my party? We have two red paladins, a mage, and a healer priest yeah i don't give a shit the two red paladins uh are probably running the talent what's it called oh this guy's running templar strikes that's interesting what about this guy he's using crusading strikes Cru crusading strikes cannot benefit from wind fury oh i cast i guess the timer is just for show <laughs> Okay, it's definitely LFR. I'm going to use my defensive here because I can use it again at the next gl Glittering Surge. Okay, we're just going to tank it in the in the bombs. That's cool. That's fine, I guess. That's Disintegrate coming through. I'm going to try and clear in the breath because it's better to clear in the breath. There we go. We cleared in the breath. Getting the doggos back out. I'm just a little bit lost in the sauce right now. I, d I don't know why. My brain is not processing the information that's on my screen properly. I think it's because I'm thinking of a few different things at the same time, regard like outside of what I'm recording, and that's probably not doing me any favors. Hey, the doggo Vicara is working perfectly. I think I should make it also have a sound when it goes off of cooldown. Like the robot blip that I keep using in all my Vicaras. That's been really good. You have 10 stacks. We gotta use that. I think Maelstrom weapon 10 stack takes precedence over pretty much everything else. Oh yeah, I love being parried. Hold on. I need a fucking... I need to learn to stand behind this boss. I just got my storm strike parried. That did not feel good at all. That is a lot of people that still have the debuff. I wonder if they're all going to survive or not. There's the glittering surge. I can use my defensive again. I can use my AoE heal thing. And I'm going to try and do as much damage as I can so that I heal the group. Especially the people that didn't clear the debuff. Okay, we have one person down. It's just one of the resto shamans, I think. There isn't much reason to keep hitting the boss here. Uh, I'm just trying to get mail maelstrom weapon stacks. I should have... What I should have done there was I should have dropped my uh, windrush totem before I went through because that would give everyone else a speed buff as well okay they he got instantly interrupted we are trying to just zoog zoog these ads they're getting pulled around we need to move out of that chain lightning while i'm moving drop my doggos i'm just gonna knock these guys up i'm getting stacks of oblivion for doing it but i can't really do it any other way Somebody did grab the bomb. That's good. Okay, we're taking care of the ads. That's good. I wasn't doing my optimal DPS there because I just, I was kind of trying to just keep an eye out for the ads and whatnot. These people with bombs don't know what to do. It would have been a lot nicer if I could have picked those up, but oh well. I'm going to go, okay, I took a bunch of stacks. I don't, I don't even know what they came from. I think it's from just AOE bombs exploding upstairs because people don't know where to take them. And that's okay because it's LFR. Who cares? Okay, we're going to try and cleave down these ads. Hit them with my big height big hits. I'm gonna knock them up when they're casting. Get the doggos back out. Chain lightning. Lots of buttons to press. Get the doggos back out again. Very good. Okay. I'm going to grab this bomb. I do not want people grabbing the bomb if they don't know what to do with it. Okay. I'm gonna go down here. Grab a bunch of stacks again. We gotta wait for the bomb to explode anyway, so may as well grab as many stacks as I want. There's the bomb gone. Ten stacks of the buff. Get the dogs back out. Okay, he's inter he's going into intermission. We're gonna go over to him, because I do believe he still takes full damage here. We're gonna check. I'm not getting any crits, so I don't see, because I only really see crits and missed and absorbed attacks hopefully there's at least a few people to stand over here so that we get a few uh few good stones my stones i mean the um the the the, 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 the comets come on at least one over here yeah exactly zero over here that's unfortunate but at least we're all still alive that's better than most lfr groups i didn't manage to kick that on time unfortunately okay we really need to make sure we stand be behind the boss the tanks are not making this easy for us i gotta knock these guys up i don't want to let those go through i'm gonna drop all my cooldowns now we don't have bloodlust available because we use at the start of the fight which is quite unfortunate but oh well we have two explosions going through we can stand in this over here i'm just gonna stand in the stacks if i can actually no wait i don't need to it's just three stacks using my aoe healing cooldown for my group 
I'm just gonna heal heal myself just to give the healers a bit of a break. Resummoning doggos. Good thing we have a shit ton of battle reses, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Although I'm questioning who we're using battle reses on, to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna move all the way back. Move to the side now that the purples are down. Focusing the ads, we're gonna knock them out. I can't get that one. I was hoping it would die, but I think it got its cast off. The tanks keep pointing the boss at the group. I don't like that. That is very scary. I don't want to get void slashed, but better me than somebody else. But if I get void slashed, that means a bunch of other people are going to get void slashed as well, most likely, because I'm trying to stay behind the boss with most of the people. The reason void slash is scary is because it's going to explode and do a shit ton of damage like you just saw there. You're standing in the pillars of light. We can actually continue DPSing here. We're going to drop all our cooldowns again. Uh, the tanks keep pointing the boss at the group. I really don't like that. And they, the tanks also don't know that they need to go under by standing in the Cerulea, so they keep blowing up on the group and these healers are handling it like champions and drop up damage resistance totem here the physical damage resistance one at least trying to get out again drop the totem not the totems jesus drop the comets over here please don't hit me with the comets very good i'm gonna focus the ads i don't know where the tank's going we're gonna knock up the ads there we go drop my sundering drop everything just want to kill the ads as quickly as possible tanks keep pointing the fucking boss at us i'm gonna drop my totem here the one that stuns things capacitor totem them, reapply the wolves, use my maelstrom weapon stacks. There's quite a bit going on here. What the hell was that? Oh, it was multiple bombs going off at the same time. We're just going to try and reincarnate for this, I guess. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. There's another person with a bomb going off. Okay, I typed in the group chat, or rather the instance chat. I said, don't stand in front of the boss. And if you do get hit by Void Slash and have the debuff, stand in the small swirlies to go down until the debuff goes away, then come back up. Maybe the group can finish off 2 million health. Actually, I think the group is going to finish it off. Oh, uh, oh. Almost, almost, come on. There isn't a tank alive. Three people, 180k, 90k. Oh, this is intense. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. They barely, just barely fucking did it. <laughs> this is like race the world first level bullshit of like... <laughs> Uh, LFR be like. Okay, well, anyway. Let's see if we get a Void Touch Curio or something. No, we just get a Splintered Spark. That's okay, too. Illyrian got that. Let's see if Illyrian needs that. Yeah, I think he does. Okay, well, we're gonna greet on everything. Oh, hold on. This is Veteran 4. Yeah, we're gonna need on those. And we're gonna greet on the rest of this, because I can't even use it. And we're gonna enter the discarded works. Okay, they killed the first boss. That's unfortunate. We're gonna knock everything up here, because there was the damage debuff or damage reduction thing being cast by the scale guard. We don't want that going through. We're gonna put focus on the naturalist we're gonna look at the preserver so we can focus interrupts the naturalist when he casts his heal knock up again oh okay somebody else is on top of it that's always good to see reapply our doggos i am completely ignoring this weak R that i have in the middle of my screen so i need to i need to add some kind of noise or something to make it actually noticeable because I, visual stimuli in this game are just completely ignored by yours truly i really like i really couldn't give less of a fuck about them honestly it's not that i don't care it's that i just cannot notice them like right now i i barely see this maybe i need to make it huge or jumping or something we're gonna focus interrupt that and we're gonna knock this one up there we go we don't want the cleansing fire to go through because that heals for a shit ton it also does a bunch of damage to the group i believe so you want to kick that no matter what give people movement speed i'm gonna reset the cooldown of the totem and we're gonna move the totem again to over here okay we have a big pull we have a preserver over here we're gonna focus that preserver and we're gonna look at that other one we're gonna interrupt this one with cc when he does cast his thing and we're gonna interrupt interrupt the other one with Oh, there we go. And we're going to interrupt the other one with an actual interrupt, like the like so, with our focus target macro. Okay, now I've done the interrupts for a little bit. The group can actually cleave the rest of them. I didn't do much damage here, but what I did do was I prevented a shit ton of healing from coming through. I think this one's going to cast again soon. Okay, it got interrupted by somebody's knock up. I'm going to try and heal myself. I didn't manage to. There's a good cleansing dragon fire coming through. There weren't many targets for it to heal, so I think it's okay. The first few are really important because that's when the rest of the group is usually still alive. So we really want to take care of those. I'm I'm lucky and I managed to do so, but there aren't many other people doing anything about it. It's good. I saw a shaman interrupt that just now. I'm the only person that died. That makes me feel sad, but... I did interrupt things, so I feel okay about that. And I am getting resurrected. That's very nice. I'm hoping for a reset so that we can bloodlust again for the boss fight. Okay, we are resetting. Just going to drop a totem there for people to move. And we have all our cooldowns back because your two minute or longer cooldowns actually get reset whenever the boss resets or dies. Let me see if I can add a condition here. Can I add a condition? Add property change. I cannot add an animation, it looks like. I'll check that after the... After the pull, I'm not sure. We're going to stack a nuke, apparently. That's the that's the tactic we're going for. I'm not going to bloodlust here. I want to bloodlust in P2 because the P2 is going to be rougher. Hit them both with Sundering, make sure. It's a pretty thin line, it feels like, so it's, it's good to 
really positioned properly for it in my experience which is very limited experience i should point out because i haven't been playing this for very long basically three days something like that maybe four and there's the fiery meteor we have a few people soaking i think that's okay i don't have to use a defensive for that i'm gonna move away from that big explosion thing as much as i can within reason because i want to just keep beating the shit out of these bosses i'm not going to use any of my cooldowns here because i don't like the bosses are going to go into intermission and i can't actually deal any damage to them so i'm not going to resummon my doggos i will keep beating the shit out of them just so i can keep stacking up maelstrom weapons there we go and here we bloodlust somebody that already used bloodlust pop the doggos pop everything i have a feeling i'm under utilizing ice strike i will use my defensive here because i don't trust that there's enough people standing in it i used a windrush totem to just help people move out of it but the tanks don't really seem to give a shit on lfr i kind of understand like that secondary explosion doesn't do much damage i just don't trust people in lfr to play well enough to make that a non-issue which is maybe a me thing but yeah there's another soak i'm just gonna hope for the best here was i the only one in it i don't fucking understand ah uh, jesus christ is it even worth soaking that thing uh, it's like I, I don't understand it's lfr the boss is about to die it's okay i shouldn't be salty i'm just a little bit tired of dying because the repair bills are going to be expensive and i only have 10k gold <laughs> <laughs> this is an intellect trinket we're gonna greed on that greed transmog greed greed i'm hoping i get resurrected it would be very nice if i could get resurrected hey thank you okay it's rough when you're the only one soaking a raid wide soak mechanic I, i'm not a big fan okay we don't have actually a poison this spell here so I, I i worry for these tanks but there's not much i can do about them about, about that right now because i don't have my poison cleansing totem it is a paladin so maybe they can cleanse themselves they don't seem to be doing that okay somebody cleanse them that's good oh we got a 379 gun worth 16k gold yeah i doubt it but we're gonna use it anyway i'm gonna knock these guys up i'm just gonna try to cc them so they don't apply as many poison stacks to our tank because they can't poison them if they're dead drop a movement speed totem right here dog is back up they're gonna help us cleave we use a defensive because i was targeted there for a second i have three stacks of the poison on me i think i can survive three stacks especially with the defensive i'm gonna knock everything up try and cc things we're gonna stun it with our thing and hit it with our other cc the sundering very good okay we have some extra trash we should ideally move out of the poison or like the green areas on the ground because it's actually reducing our haste and making us take damage i don't really care too much about the damage because it's not very high but i do care about my haste being reduced i want a zug zug less haste means less zug zug per minute and you got to keep your zug zug per minute pretty high when you're playing enhancement shaman i don't know many things about enhancement shaman but i do know that the zug zug per minute needs to be high i'm gonna knock these up i didn't really manage to do what i wanted to do i fucking hate this mob i rant about it every single fucking time i come here at this point it's a fucking meme oh god i need to heal myself i'm gonna use the group heal i can't get to do any damage i'm gonna use my defensive and stand in the middle of this this is what we call the yolo maneuver the tanks need to decide which fucking way they want to move because the only way they move so far is into the stuff that turns us into blobs and silences us i'm just gonna yeet myself into the poison because i don't want to kill anyone oh wow it's actually not on me i can't believe it we're gonna try and pick this up and get the hell out of the middle so i don't pull the boss Ooh, we got drag bar rocks actually okay those are expensive even when they're 376 so we're gonna keep that put it on the auction house hope for some gold i wonder if somebody's gonna bloodless at the start or if we're gonna wait for the second boss oh, we got that juicy concentration aura who needs devotion aura you gotta look out for those interrupts and silences and spell casting pushback i don't even if, i don't even know if it affects that i'm just goofing around at this point oh shit i wasn't paying attention and i just stood in that fucking rending charge my bad we use the group heal just to help recover from some of these stacks that we've uh, had applied to ourselves i'm gonna use that to cover up my mistake we got a fresh pair of doggos there's the rending charge this time i'm actually paying attention i'm not going to use a fresh set of doggos i'm going to wait until the next boss spawns in because i'm not going to have a way to reduce the cooldown until the next boss comes and for the next boss i'm going to be popping bloodlust so i want to have as many cooldowns available as possible once he's targetable we go bloodlust there we go doggos and go to town on him get those doom winds out fresh set of doggos they're really they, they come off cooldown so fucking quick just had an idea of how i'm going to handle the uh whatchamacallit's the weak auras but yeah i use my defensive here because the violent eruption was just going to do a bunch of damage to us no matter or what if i had it i would have used uh ancestral guidance as well to help out with the group healing but i didn't so i couldn't new doggos this boss is about to go down maybe i shouldn't have used new doggos but okay it ain't no big deal they come off cooldown so quickly it doesn't even matter now we need a battle res on the tank just doing some off healing here trying to heal the tank nobody else is it looks like somebody should taunt off of uh the current tank because he has 15 stacks nobody's doing it I'm, i haven't even paid attention to that okay they did it 
Now they just need to bonk into each other so that our paladin doesn't die. We're going to use our group healing thing. And now I'm paying more attention to that than I am to my DPS. That's funny. Okay, it looks like they did clear at some point. I didn't really pay attention when because I was trying to do my DPS. Oh, people like standing in the middle, it looks like. Just need to make sure we bonk that ball away from him. That's good. We're going to go stand over here to bonk away this ball, even though we're going to get parried when I'm standing here. But it doesn't matter. Boss is dead. Very good. Nothing I can need roll on. That's okay. I do still need a couple of bosses, actually, I think. Mythic dungeon close. Okay. I can't. I need to actually do a mythic dungeon to see the vault. That's kind of annoying, but okay. Did I loot the boss? I just got to double check if I looted the boss. Yes, I did. We're going to leave instance group. And now I think I did six of the raid bosses. Actually, let me check. I can just set it to LFR. One, two. Okay, there's nine bosses and I haven't done three of them. That means I've done six. So I need to do either Fury. I'm going to check which of these three actually gives me the best loot. Kazara. Hold on. There's a shoulder, but it's same item level. Back, same item level, whatever. Assault of the Zakali. We get a one hand axe that's the same item level as my offhand so i don't really care about it yeah these are all the same item level rash rock rash rock actually gives two out of eight veterans so if i get something off of rash rock it could be considered an improvement so we're gonna queue for hmm i'm gonna queue for both and whichever i get first it's it's okay like i really don't don't mind either so we're gonna go back to rain finder and we're gonna queue for discarded works and we're gonna queue for fury of the giants and whichever one i get first is uh, perfectly fine with me the reason i'm doing this is because in the vault uh i need one more box to get the three slots for every slot you get you get two tokens of merit for six tokens of merit you can buy one of these socket things what's it called volcanic sculptor which lets you add a socket to an item that doesn't already have one and that's really useful when you craft gear like when you craft a belt or wrists or a helmet it's really good to put a socket on them so that you have the crafted item with a socket because you can't craft an item with a socket other than rings and necklaces at rank five they're guaranteed to have a socket that's why you almost always see people craft rings because that way they can guarantee that they have the good stats that they want and they can guarantee that they also have the socket but yeah uh oh one more thing that i didn't point out you can only get up to six tokens so you can't fill out two rows and have 12 tokens you can it caps out at six tokens so you just need three slots to get the six tokens that you need to buy the volcanic sculptor anyway i'm gonna go put stuff on the auction house and then i'm gonna wait for my queue to pop because there's not much else for me to do in the world content that will give me uh whatchamacallit champion tier loot and what i need now is champion tier loot this is 16k gold does any would anyone actually buy it for that price you know what i'm gonna find out i'm gonna post it and, and say fuck it. I have a lot of whelping crests, like a whole shit ton of whelping crests, and there's really not much I can do with them. I'm also curious how much. Oh, okay, 436 flight stones. That's not bad. We're gonna go upgrade our champion tier weapon to four out of eight, just as soon as I'm done clicking these whelping shadow flame crests for 500 times. Fun and interactive game. I can't wait for them to get rid of these fucking fragments. By the way, I like. I'm really looking forward to the change in the next season, or in the next patch, I should say. But yeah, the next season. There's only gonna be crests, if I understood it correctly, and that's gonna be fucking awesome because fuck this system i don't like i really don't like it so if we had a bunch more uh what are it called light stones i'd be using these whelpling crest frag or Re whelpling crests to upgrade my veteran tier gear but i really don't feel like i should upgrade my veteran tier gear i should just go in to do nines and get a bunch of champion tier gear because the champion tier gear is going to be at 415 just to begin with i'm just hoping that people would invite me with this kind of item level though but yeah we're going to upgrade this to four out of eight and that's as far as we can take it right now because we don't have any worm crests yet the weapon i feel like the weapon would be a good choice to upgrade with weapon crests but that's so many flight stones that i'd rather spend on champion gear yeah i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i refuse plus i still need to get my champion piece of loot from there and i need to get my piece from time walking and by there i mean i mean this area because there's a dungeon five heroic dungeon quest in here anyway i'm gonna talk to you when i have a queue pop i'm actually while i'm in lfr queue i think i can queue up for something over here we're gonna do the time walking ones rather than the heroic ones because I'd like to get a piece from Avarice because it's hero tier. So if I do one thing, I'd like to do the time walking things. Actually, while I wait, instead of just sitting there and waiting, what I'm going to do is, well, I should probably adjust my weak auras with the idea I had, but that's kind of boring and I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to go do the Abyssian quest line or rather the Lomniffin quest line. But before I can do that, I need to go over here and we're going to skip through the Hidden Legacies quest line because uh, I don't feel like doing that. Like it's good EXP, don't get me wrong. Wait, can I not skip this? Do I really have to do this again? I thought I could 
skip this part. I guess I'll do it. It's part of the quest line. Fuck it. Looks like the random dungeon is ready, sir. We're going to try and enter. I'm just doing the quest line here. I'm not going to show much of the quest line because that's not very interesting. Yeah, you thrown with the tides. Okay, I was a little worried when it said random dungeon instead of like time walking dungeon or something. I guess it always says random dungeon when you're queuing random dungeons. But yeah, I was a little worried that it was uh, not going to be a time walking dungeon again because uh, whoopsie daisy, that's something I do. Ooh, make it onto the elevator, please, guys. Move, 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 move. Yay, we all made it onto the elevator. Pick us up, squid. Or no, this is a jellyfish. That is a squid. Look at that ugly fucker. I just gotta keep CCing these fucking healers. Okay, we killed one. I can interrupt with the other. It's all good. They're so annoying because in, in the time walking version, they don't stop fucking casting. Like you can interrupt them and they're just gonna, the next cast is still gonna be the same fucking spell. Knock them up here. I really wanna finish this one off. I'm gonna interrupt it. Okay, the other one isn't casting it, but that's a Tempest Witch. I don't think she heals actually. The Spirit Mender is the one that heals. I think in the previous video, I said the witch will heal, but that is uh, obviously not the case. I think I was just mistaken. A case of mistaken ident identity. I'm gonna bloodlust for this boss. I don't, I don't think I really need it for any of the other bosses. Well, the only other boss we do is actually the guy right after this. So I'm gonna kick that over there. That maybe makes it move over to here where we are. I'm gonna knock it up. Just gonna try and interrupt these casts. Don't have anything available right now, but there we go. The hunter interrupted it. Then we stepped into one of the fucking whirlpool things. And there she goes back into the middle. We're going to inter interrupt that witch again. Knock him up. Keep those interrupts rolling. And that's Lady Nashjar dead. What? Oh, okay. This is from the raid. Sometimes the game fucking bugs out and shows you loot from the previous encounter that you did. Moving my totem around to make sure that we can get the maximum value out of it. One last little bit of value out of that totem. I actually really like the relocation thing. It's such a long, uh, such a short cooldown, sorry, is what I meant to say, that you can actually make three uses out of one single Windrush totem. That's amazing. I'm going to reset the cooldown of Windrush totem so we can use it right after this boss. There we go. I'm going to use it right away. I'm going to relocate it over here. And then in another 10 seconds, I'll re relocate it right on top of me. Hopefully that lets people use it again. Hopefully I can do it when it's so far away. I can. I think I ran out of time just a little bit there, but oh well. Just going to wait for the tank to go up ahead. By the way, you can auto attack while you're in ghost wolf form. So if you're running past like tiny trash like that, you can actually just keep zoog zooging even when you're in a wolf wolf form i swear the longer i keep playing this class the dumber i speak and not because it's a stupid class but because i just get dumber the more i play it because i just want to mash the buttons <laughs> which i'm probably doing a poor job of to be honest but what's important is that i'm having fun and i'm not wiping my group i think <laughs> at least i think i'm not wiping them i don't know need to talk to the boss i think everyone's in the room so we can talk to the boss that we are ready because the gate closes after you talk to him so you got to make sure everyone's in the room i don't want a repeat of magister's terrace where i get kicked while fighting the last fucking boss of a dungeon where being a dickhead. <laughs> like the little flame of eyes. Not, I didn't even realize that's that was what it was. I thought it was a fucking warlock pet or something. Some like visual effect from a warlock while we were in the raid. Now I realize that it's just my thing. <laughs> that's funny as shit. I like that. Man, wind gust is actually terrifying. Imagine this giant fucking Tauran dude just launching himself at you at Mach 5. That should like put a fear effect on enemies when you do that. Actually, I'm going to do extra startling stuff. I'm going to hide. I'm going to channel my inner Tauran rogue. I'm going to scare the bejesus out of these poor murlocs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I scared them to death. Either that or I storm strike them to death. I don't know. All right, now we have to kill these guys quickly. I mean, quickly. We don't have to kill them quickly, but once you kill them, the boss fight is technically over because you get super buffed and then you just have to beat the shit out of the squid. Here we go. We have been super sized and we are done with the dungeon. We're going to see if the group wants to queue for more time walking dungeons. Okay. Toe Liquor X wants to stay with us. That's good. Toe Liquor X is our. <laughs> Didn't realize that they were named that. The whole group wants to stay together. That's fucking awesome. We're waiting on. Yeah. Yeah, we got queued. Yeah, the third DPS also accepted it. Hell yeah, that was awesome. I can actually get my time walking dungeons done pretty quickly. Here's the stone core. At this point, I've been playing for a few hours now. Even though I've been skipping through, I think I'm going to skip through the rest of this as well. So I'll talk to you when we get to the last boss and see if we re queue with these guys again. Big lightning, big lightning. Oh, yes. I fucking love this dungeon. Literally just for this pull. <laughs> <laughs> and the crash lightning it's so fucking good dude what the fuck and there she goes very nice another chaos orb to get like three gold for and we're gonna queue up maybe people want to stay i think people are doing their oh the tank left healer chose to queue the two dps are also queuing it looks like one of the dps left the healer left oh healers only want to queue with tanks they don't care about dps that's okay though i got two dungeons with one group that's pretty nice i'm gonna continue questing here i think oh nice discarded works that's perfect i'm gonna leave after kazara because i'm locked out for loot anyway and we can grab this before we get the cube pop get the cinematic that means i can go to back to what's it called seat of the aspects i'm gonna use my astral recall and get the heck out of here we have all tanks and all healers okay i guess it let us on in without the dps yeah we're missing three dps that didn't accept but that's fine 
there's going to be other DPS that are going to join in. I'm just glad I got to do Kazara because then I have seven bosses for the vault and that's going to be perfect. Put down the totem and let's get to Zug Zug. Knock everything up. Interrupt those casts. Waiting for the dances. We're going to interrupt the dances with our Sundering. Drop another stun totem on top of them. Fuck them. I'm going to save my Tarin racial or high mountain racial or the next group. I'm not going to send any more cooldowns into this group. I'm going to have the doggos for the next pull. It's trash, but I like to do trash efficiently as well. Thanks going in. So we're going to drop our 10 stacks of Maelstrom weapon into that. And we're going to do our Tarin stun. There we go. Perfect. We're going to do a knock up like this. I'm just going to drop our doggos because I don't want to have a reset or I don't want to have to wait at the start of the fight where my doom wins to go off cooldown. Sundering CC. Beautiful. All that and 115k DPS as well. That's not bad. That's not bad. 116k or 401 item level aoe it is aoe eh, i don't know i don't think it was that amazing but still it felt fun that's for sure i love playing enhancement shaman honestly like i know i just got the 70 i still don't even have why are you angry well then again if i had metal plates melded onto me i'd be angry too the reason i said that is because it was obnoxiously loud for me <laughs> gotta have that crusader aura who needs retribution oh we have retribution as well okay crusader aura is good in case anybody needs to mount up in the middle of combat that makes sense i'm just goofing there's like there's nothing they can change that too maybe concentration aura but who gives a shit about concentration aura i don't think i think that i think that's like just a pvp thing isn't it i can't think of a single place where you would actively switch to the concentration aura okay no pull timer no nothing just go that is uh you know the more zug zug i get the more zug zug my teammates get as well it looks like ray of anguish on me i do actually need to step away because i'm not a paladin i can't just bubble I'm just making sure i don't put it on top of anyone else it looks like the druid off tank is not taunting at all because the paladin tank has three stacks of the yeah the paladin just went down <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny uh crit haste versus crit mastery i'm gonna keep the crit mastery i guess we're gonna transmog roll the shoulders are crit haste versus crit haste but mine have more haste so we keep mine and i think that's pretty much it the other two bosses i'm locked out for so there's no reason for me to stay i'm just gonna leave i don't think a dps leaving is gonna cause any inconvenience on an lfr run they'll be able to find someone very very quickly okay i now have my vault unlocks i think oh and we have our uh, time walking as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It is a vortex pinnacle. I'm gonna skip to the end because uh, I just need to get this done and start editing my next video, or actually my previous video. Yeah, I think the previous video. I'm not sure anymore, but yes, I'm. I need to. I need to speed it up instead of keep talking. So I'm gonna shut up and talk to you at the end of the dungeon. All right, well, we actually don't have the hop, so we're gonna have to. Ooh, I actually took fall damage. I should have jumped before I. Well, not before I, but I should have jumped instead of just dropping down. Where was he going? But yeah, we're almost done with this dungeon. I'm hoping people will stay for more more after question mark because that would actually really make it that much quicker we're not gonna switch to the eye we're just gonna kill the boss i don't know where this guy's going i guess he's just trying to pad his dps I don't, I don't know random time walking yes please the tank is staying that's good that's good healer is also staying that is beautiful does that mean i just need this one more the weekend event okay so i'm missing one we're gonna end it with a throne of the tides we need to reapply our weapon buffs and whatnot actually we don't need to just a buff thing i don't have my totem yet to give us movement speed but we're gonna put it down here in a second I should probably put it down after these mobs because we're going to stand still to beat these mobs up. Please just kill this one. Okay, I can handle one of them healing, I think. I'm just going to stun it. God damn it. Why did they leave me alone? Please just die. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Your service is appreciated. Well, now you dish dickheads don't get the fucking totem from me. There we go. Look at all this time you saved. So amazing. I hate it when tanks do that because those guys in the back are just going to keep casting heals. And if you don't like nuke them, it's so annoying. I had a run like that, I think in the previous episode or something. But yeah, it's just, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. How am, I, how am I supposed to deal with this? Help me kill the fucking healer that doesn't stop casting. Jesus Christ, people. I thought I was Zoog Zoog, but this is ridiculous. Like, they don't need to CC. They don't need to interrupt. I know people don't like doing that shit. But at least hit the target, you know? <laughs> at least hit the one that's healing everyone. I'm just trying to keep this thing locked down long enough for us to kill it. Okay, I think, yeah, okay, we did it. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I don't know why Blizzard thought it would be a good idea to have a no lockout enemy like I, I just i don't get what the fuck was that damage did you see that everybody went to like no health i'm gonna use my aoe heal thing here i'm gonna zoog zoog i'm gonna beat the shit out of the one that heals keep interrupting that let it cast a, as close to full as possible before we interrupt we're just gonna 
knock up this stuff. Damn, I don't, I'm not sure what actually got us that low. I'm not, I genuinely don't know what, what happened there. Do the little ads that run in circles do an explosion when they die? I'm not sure. Not even going to bother using my cooldowns on her because she's going to use the water spout again right away. And I'll use my cooldowns on this big guy. We'll kick that one in the back real quick and then just continue tunneling the big guy. I can switch over here and now we finish off big lady. There we go. Keep everyone movement speed with the totem. We relocate the totem quickly. Skip the cinematic. Then we can relocate it again one more time just to keep us all buffed up like right here no reason not to relocate it not really getting anything out of relocating it but it's fine made you use time warp on this boss I, I think that makes a lot of sense because you get the dps the boss the entire time there's no intermission where you can't hit him like with lady najjar i think i used bloodlust a few times on lady najjar and that was not good that was not the that was not the call there we go i reset the cooldown of my totem I'm gonna relocate it oh i can't relocate it after we jump down that's unfortunate i should have waited until we got down to relocate it that's stupid. Totemic projection, 10 second cooldown, 40 yard range. So I'm assuming that I can only teleport totems that are within 40 yards uh, of me and uh, put it 40 yards away from me. I think that's how that would work. Otherwise, you would have very, very long range with your totems. Like you could teleport them from upstairs to over here, which is clearly not the call that Blizzard wants to make. I'm looking at the sentries. I would like to purge their swell because the swell, if it goes through, doesn't end well because it does a bunch of AOE damage to the group. Anyone that's nearby gets to take a bunch of damage from swell. There's the swell. We're just going to purge it. Even though it's low HP and about to die, I still, I don't want to take any risks from like a weird amount of damage coming through or something stupid like that zap those guys over there pretty much one shot them i love that i love it whenever i can chain lightning a bunch of really weak enemies and they all fall over i don't know why that's very very satisfying it just looks cool <laughs> like that yeah here it is the final phase this will be the last time walking cataclysm dungeon that i do hopefully for a long fucking time because i have had my fill i've done quite a few to level i did five more now to get the fucking dungeon quest done and your boy is done with it i've had my fill Give people more movement speed to get to the last one. Focus the sapper and just cleave the beasts. Even though I think the beasts are supposed to be kited, but it's time walking, so like they just don't do any damage to the tank. Now we go big mode and we take care of Blight of Oz, which is the Wizard of Oz's weird cousin from Louisiana. Somehow we have someone who died? What? What happened to this guy? Let's see if I can res them. I'm in combat. There we go. Now I can res them. I got you, buddy. We're gonna grab our loot and we're gonna leave the group. Oh, it feels good to be done with time walking, I gotta admit. But now I need to do five heroic dungeons which is also going to take a while i think but once we're done with that we're done with this episode that's a little bit exciting as well what's even more exciting is actually going over to kazra and seeing what we're going to get from the little cache of aberus mysteries or just a cache of aberus treasures i wanted to say it was a little mystery what we're going to get but we're yeah anyway 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 oh please friends join me in my prayers to rn jesus channel your energies into my prayer from the future back into the past of where i'm recording this right now and you're watching it in the future in our lord's name rn jesus Amen. Eh, I mean, it's not a piece of shit. It's a lot of mastery. It's not a bad ring. It doesn't have a socket, but it's going to replace our haste mastery veteran tier ring. So that's pretty good. There we go. I am going to craft rings anyway because I want sockets on my rings, but maybe I can delay crafting a ring for a while. I can just get one of the rings to whatever, but yeah, it could have been worse. It could have been actually, I don't know if it could have been worse, um, to be honest with you. Maybe a wrist would have made me feel even worse because I know I'm going to craft wrists. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It's not bad. It would. It's far from ideal, obviously. But at this point, uh, we don't. We have zero hero tier items. So any hero tier item we get is an improvement. And a weapon would have been ideal, I think, or a trinket because my trinkets are kind of shit. But yeah, we're gonna go queue up for regular ass heroic dungeons and fo hope for quick queue times because Lord knows. I, I really need to get to editing. Oh, I was in queue for Fury of Giants. Yeah, I'm just going to decline that. I don't care. I forgot to leave the queue, so... <laughs> now we're just in queue for, for Heroic Dungeons. I'm going to go to the Seat of the Aspect, and I'm going to continue the quest line, just so I get that done as quickly as possible. I'm not going to show much more of it. And I'm also not going to collect these fucking Dream Surge things anymore. Let other players that actually need them get that. It's super fun to collect them. It's very satisfying, but I, like, I don't want to let other players miss out on them just because I have fun collecting them, because some people still need them for gear. I've gotten all my Dream Surge gear. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you when a Q pops. Oh, nice. That was actually a very quick Q pop. I barely got to do any quests, which I will not complain about. <laughs> Either of which. I'm not huge on... Every moment we delay works to... Shut up, Sibelian. He started talking even though I have dialogue volume turned off, so I, d I don't know. Hey, it's the Noku Defensive. This is definitely an experienced tank. There's not many tanks that'll do this pull. <laughs> gonna CC this guy so he doesn't get the buff everybody else around him. I kind of stood in the thing, but we're gonna kick this. Finishing off the last group. Kick the Disrupting Shadow. 
out. Very nice. Okay, so far so good. The dungeon's going very, very quickly. Everyone seems to know what to do. I like that. It's not a problem if people don't know what to do. I don't mind that either. It's just heroic dungeons. Who gives a shit? To be honest, like I really don't care if people know or don't know how to play the dungeon up until about key level 16 or so, which is unfortunate because that's when you get the aspect crests. So there's a lot of all sorts of people there. But yeah, at that point, like at that difficulty of the game, I sort of expect you to know what your buttons do and what the dungeons, uh, ha what happens in the dungeon, I should say. Otherwise, I feel like you're just actively harming your group's chances of actually completing the content, which of course, like I'm not going to rage at someone just because they don't know how to do the dungeon, but I will be annoyed if you don't know what you're doing in a 16 or higher. Not that 16 is some ridiculously high difficulty or anything like that. I just feel like it's reasonable to expect someone to know what they're doing when they get to that key level, right? I'm going to do a quick kick on that one all the way in the back. I'm hoping this group stays with us. That would be really, really nice. Ooh, ooh, the tank queued. That's fucking awesome, actually. Holy shit. I think he wants to get his five uh, heroic dungeons done as well. How many have I done, actually? I think that's in Valdraken. No, I'm going to abandon this quest because I'm not going to be going there anytime soon. Banchester's Terrace. We can forget about that. Oh, wait, people left. Oh, come on. I was hoping to do a bunch of quick dungeons. No, but we have one done. That's something, at least. I'm going to leave instance group and continue doing the quest line. While I do that, I'm going to find myself a group for a random dragonflight heroic dungeon and crash into the wall like a dungeon. Mass. Talk to you when I get another Q pop. Ooh, another dungeon. Let's see what we get this time. Hopefully, it's something quicker because uh, no cool defensive takes quite a while to do. Watch it be Uldaman Legacy of Tear, which is legitimately the longest dungeon, in my opinion. <laughs> God damn it. Well, at least it's not Blackrock Deaths. <laughs> I don't know how to make myself feel better about this. Hey, I'll get some gold. Yeah, we'll get some gold from the quest, and that'll make me feel better. Oh, what a fucking train of mobs. Actually, this is line of sightable. Why the hell am I going back into it? Uh, curse of stone we gotta cleanse that off of this guy so he doesn't blow us up i think the tank may be overdoing it at this point <laughs> use the group heal here holy shit knock up these hails of stone because they're kind of hurting drop my stun on that group there we go beautiful okay the tank asked is all still good <laughs> No, no, I don't have my knock up. There we go. Just barely. Whew. We're going to kick this next one. There we go. Okay. Tank does not know how to stop holding the W key. <laughs> okay. He's still going. It looks like uh, he doesn't have aggro anymore. So you should consider that as a thing. I accidentally used bloodlust, <laughs> but we have sated. So it doesn't matter if he runs into that door. That might be the end of us because he's going to get stunned. We're going to rip aggro off him, I think. And that's not going to be good. We're going to knock everything up because there's curses going through. I'm going to use my group heal. Holy shit. What is this? Pull. I can't step any closer to hit them because I'm worried about getting stunned myself. It seems I have aggro on one of the golems. That's never good. Okay, step back into the spirit link without him. Never mind. People stepped out of it. I'm gonna knock these guys up because there's hails of stone. Okay, we survived that somehow. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Thank fuck for enhancement shaman CC because holy fuck. Tank says that was scary. Yeah, no thanks to you, man. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Let go of the W key. Is he gonna pull the two at the entrance? Is what he is gonna pull everything. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, this guy. Well, at least this turn turned the longest dungeon into probably the shortest I'm gonna have tonight. I guess he just wants to trigger the boss at this point. I just keep purging. I used a lot of purges there. My DPS is kind of shit because of it, because I didn't realize that these guys buff themselves when they debuff you with that steel haste thing. Get out of sand breath. I don't have many places to stand anymore because the tank is just standing still. There's rewind time at least. There we go. That was the zugzugiest tank I've ever seen. Ever. Let me grab loot. We're gonna grab what's the most expensive this thing is. Okay, and let's join us party. Let's see if these guys want to stay together. Tank wants to stay together. Good. I could use a tank like this. I'm trying to do these quickly. <laughs> the healer pieced out. Okay, we are in the queue and we got a pop. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, please. Another, I, I was going to say another long dungeon, but honestly, all of these dungeons are super fucking long and I should track this quest and I should share this quest. Okay, people have already completed it. They're just doing heroics for the heck of it. I can respect that. Okay, we managed to kill the little Drake before it spawned in more mobs. That's good. Gotta kick, kick those erratic growths. Otherwise, we're going to get stunned. Tank does not know how to stop. We're going to interrupt this by, oh, sweet Jesus, I'm getting a lot of damage taken oh no is this what it's like when i tank heroic dungeons is this the kind of hecticness that happens we need to heal this guy oh we pulled everything because nobody killed the whelp on time oh no tank please let go of the w key you're not speeding it up anymore have mercy i think i got hit by the frontal i don't have much else to do other than just heal myself at this point sweet jesus I get wanting to do it quicker, but that doesn't mean pulling absolutely everything. I'm a little baby turtle. Little baby turtle kicking some fucking ass. I mean, I'm not doing ridiculous DPS or anything, but I 
am having fun and it feels like I'm kicking ass. It is hard to do any DPS when people do that much more DPS than you, especially in heroic level dungeons, because the shit just dies before I can even hit it. Yeah, it's ultimate Zug Zug tank, just killing shit even though he doesn't need to kill it. It's okay. I'll just sit here contemplating my life choices that have led me to this moment. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna do maybe two more laps before he realizes he can use a book. Oh, oh no, he's he noticed somebody went that way. Okay, we're going. <laughs> At least my guy is having fun. Give the little totem to everyone. Ah, uh, the tank says he's uh, he's new. He hasn't done the dungeon before. I just assumed, honestly, that was just completely on my, like, my bad. I just assumed that he knew the dungeon because of the size of the poles. I'm kind of stuck in the fucking thing. <laughs> I'm rooted and I'm having a frontal blasted in my face, but I use my healing cooldown so that I survive that shit. Oh, there was a boss in that pole. Okay. <laughs> gonna let them know that there's a skip available we're gonna give them a nice little movement speed like this there we go now they know the skip they can show it to other people just gonna give them some off healing while the healer comes back there we go make sure we don't stand in the range of that shoulder check give the healer some off healing there we go and now we can use the book book use book no don't go inside don't go pulling shit use the book please okay they didn't pull anything that's good and we use the book again what's that oh it's a neck piece i have a better one if it was a trinket i would consider it because mine's 347 that's not exactly amazing but i'll get one tomorrow after time rift uh, i think i said the doom hammer is what i wanted to get i think that still makes the most sense i'm just gonna stay on the boss here because there's not much reason to hit the crystals because the boss is gonna die before the crystals can blow up and fracture or do anything like that there we go and we're gonna join this party for more because i still need to do two more heroics let's see what do we get next halls of infusion okay looks like the tank teleported out do we risk it for the biscuit while we wait for the tank to sell, sell items because he's clearing his inventory okay now we're in combat with it we may as well pull the trigger okay we're gonna try and cc this so long that it doesn't matter that we don't have a tank that was a knock up into the totem into the tauren racial into what i'm gonna do fucking next i don't think i need to do anything i could have used sundering for a bit more cc but okay these guys want to keep going without the tank not sure i like that but uh someone seems to be so decked out that it doesn't really matter oh there's the tank a little bit of a knock up here so this apparatus stops casting i think it stopped casting when i knocked it up i'm not sure though tanks going into left route okay i don't think we'll wipe so i don't think it matters i don't have a kick available for that expulse so it's gonna go through but it's a fucking heroic, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, I don't want to stand in that, even on heroic. I'm going to use a defensive here just because there's no chance this tank is stopping at any point. Which, as much as I can appreciate it, because it's super fun to do big pulls, and it's super fast to do big pulls, and I'm trying to be quick, uh, it's also very nerve-wracking, because he doesn't know the tactics, so... <laughs> And he doesn't seem to know what kind of mobs he's pulling, so he just drags ranged mobs all around the place. It is very, very, how do I put it? Very zoom zoom. Please tank, stop. Please stop. Let us DPS. Like, nobody's doing their full DPS because none of the mobs are ever fucking grouped up. Oh man, I, I don't know. It's a blessing and a curse, really. The curse of the Zug. Maybe I'm just cranky because I'm getting tired. Like, it's really late in the evening. It's it's 8 p.m., but I've been recording for pretty much the entire fucking day, and <laughs> I need to stop doing this to myself. Oh, we almost managed to kill him before the ads came out. Now we just need to hope that the tank actually groups up the ads. We're just going to knock him up. Then he can't move him. We're going to stun him as well. Then they also don't move. There's three of them dead on top of the boss. We're good. I say this because I've seen tanks drag these away from the boss for some reason. Because, I mean, for some reason. Because they don't know. They just don't know any better. A 389 Iridius Fragment that has masteries. Uh, I'm just going to fucking grab it. Why not? Give myself water walking. Give this person water walking. Give the tank water walking. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? He says he needs to go AFK for a few minutes. Come on, man. What is this guy? We're going to zoog zoog without him. Give our guys movement speed. I don't have a poison cleanse totem, which is making me a little bit nervous, but we're going to tower and stun these. The hunter's doing bazillion DPS, so he's going to kill everything before we need to cleanse any poisons or die from poisons or anything like that. I'm just glad I'm not being focused by the swaggolet, so I don't have to run away. I'm gonna give this guy a quick res. I think he got too many poison stacks on himself and didn't use detox. There you go, bud. And we're going to give ourselves a Windrush totem. I'm gonna relocate the Windrush totem down here. I'm gonna relocate it again over here. Here, I really want to interrupt these guys, so we're gonna. No, oh, we got a triple interrupt with the knockup. I can appreciate that. It looks like there's enough overgeared people in this group, though, to the point where we don't actually need a tank. We just need to zug zug. I've said zug zug like 500 times in the last minute, and I don't fucking regret it. It's just such a funny fucking phrase. Tank still isn't back. I think we're gonna finish the dungeon before he gets back, or or they get back. I shouldn't say she, he, or she. I just say they. It's just a bad habit i have use our defensive on the overpowering croak maybe i should use my defensive if i have aggro actually we're just gonna hope that people put the swaglets in the goliath's mouth 
I'm going to stand in the uh, range of it. I didn't get gulped up. That's really good. Someone needs to stand in the range of it so that it doesn't get enraged, so it doesn't do extra damage. Because it kind of hurts, even on heroic, when it hits a non-tank with its auto attacks. And it's dead. Two seconds until Windrush Totem. There we go. We're going to relocate it over there as far as we can. The dragon, though, that's going to be very interesting. We're going to have to use some knockups here. Deep chill coming through. What I'm worried about is the oceanic breath. That might take someone out. It's going to take me out if I don't move. Okay, I moved. Yes, we're going to kick the guy who's AFK in the middle of our dungeon. Sure, why not? They did say they were going AFK, so I don't know if it's fair to kick them, but I don't know. If you can't do dungeons, don't queue for dungeons. Maybe something ex extremely important came up, though. Or maybe he forgot that he put his cat in the oven. I'm just going to use a self-heal here. We're going to use an AoE heal for the group. I probably overkilled it with the AoE heal, but oh well. We're just going to keep going because obviously we don't have a tank, so there's no nothing to wait for. So we're just going to zoog zoog. Now this is actual fucking zoog zoog right here. Just no tank, no nothing, just doing heroics. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to interrupt that. I mean, I don't have anything to interrupt that with. I want to save my CC for this. I'm going to actually use a defensive here so I can just stand there in the deep chill and everything. Kick that refreshing thingy thing. Oceanic breath coming through. I still have my defensive, so it's not really going to hurt that bad. There we go. And to think I need to do another one after this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's that. Hailstorm. I'm gonna actually try and get out of that. I don't have the group heal. I probably should have saved my group heal for here. I'm just gonna use my Maelstrom procs to actually heal myself. I'm not gonna use Doom Winds because she's almost dead. Give her a nice little bonk to finish things off with, and there we go. Movement speed for the group. Relocate that as far as I can after everyone has the movement speed buff. The rogue can use Sprint or something to catch up. Okay, we have a Demon Hunter. Very nice. I'm gonna relocate the totem again. We're gonna actually wait for the Demon Hunter though. There he goes. Now it's not as Zoog Zoog anymore, but it looks like the group is still in Zoog Zoog mode mentally. Oh no, I I got bonked by that but luckily it's heroic so it doesn't fucking matter we're gonna knock everything up here no reason to let all those cast bars go through that was annoying to watch how dare they cast in my presence who the fuck do they think they are tank has understood his assignment in the group and his assignment is to just pull absolutely everything or has he okay now he's pulling i wish she died that quickly in fortified but in fortified honestly she lasts longer than some fucking bosses and the boss is dead there we go I'm gonna instantly queue us up for another one please just join me for the last one so i don't have to to sit in a 10 minute queue please pretty please will the healer stay i just want the healer to stay the uh, the hunter is amazing as well he's been cc'ing he's been kicking ass on the dps front kicking my ass on the dps front that's for sure so we are queued in the dungeon finder we are just waiting for a for a tank and a healer what nah that's just that's probably just incorrect because we have a healer they queued just as a healer not as a healer and a dps so it's just two dps and a healer and this thing is bucking out there we go we have our last run it is oh down of the infinite okay which one is it it's the first one it's the easy one cool we don't have to do more chi oh maybe we get accelerating sand glass from the second boss that would be really nice okay we have two demon hunters they may be pre-made Pick the chrono melt i have to take this just a little tiny bit more seriously because they these do a little bit more damage but apparently so do these demon hunters holy crap that is just a big old pull i'm surprised they stopped because I expected them to pull the boss as well. Yeah, I think I'm about to get carried through this dungeon. Never mind, I'm holding my own on the DPS front. That's good. I'm gonna pop our bloodlust here right off the bat. Fuck it. I'm gonna try and move it off to the side. I don't really care too much because the boss is gonna die before it really matters because everyone's just blasting the DPS. And by everyone, I mean everyone except for me. <laughs> Hop out of that. Get the fuck out of that thing. I learned how much that hurts on uh, Mythic mode. <laughs> we got a splintered spark, some whelpling shadow flame crests. Oh, I said I would equip this instead of this. 405 item level with that. That's good. I should work that into my doom wins with a macro. Now let me catch up to my friends. Actually, I can mount up in here. So used to just using Ghost Wolf all the time. <laughs> kick that oh i didn't manage to kick it but we can knock it up never mind it's dead i'm sure i participated to some extent oh okay there's mobs there i didn't even see them i guess they spawn in afterwards i don't know i can't tell who the tank is i just need a square icon on the tank thank you i'm gonna put a flame shock on that because we seem to be pulling absolutely everything we can so it doesn't matter if i pull one extra mob because we have to kill all of these anyway i'm gonna tar and stun all of this shit i'm gonna use my defensive because i'm getting low from all the swirlies and stuff i'm standing in like a moron it is a bit of a wonky pull because it's just a lot of mobs at the same time doing all sorts of stuff and the boss just pelting us with shit oh we need to heal this guy he's standing in the so move buddy okay we got you they were standing in the sands and just kind of you know hanking it <laughs> I didn't give a shit. I'm gonna put our stun totem down here. Hit the leech. Hit the other leech. Hit that leech. It's on me. I don't have a defensive. I'm just gonna move over to this side. I think only this one interval is gonna get activated. I'm gonna take that guy out with a nice little bonk right there. Okay, so you don't need to kill the guys on the side. I've just been pulling stuff like an asshole then. Oh, my bad. I'm 
so sorry i genuinely thought you had to kill absolutely everything for the boss to spawn in my bad but yeah let's hope for a sand glass from this boss i would really like that immediately replace that iridius fragment you have fragments coming in that means we need to move to the right just get behind them and move to the right and you're safe chrono faded is on me i need to up heal the healer never mind we're gonna use a defensive so that we can run through this once i run through the okay never mind it doesn't do that much damage it's fucking heroic how did the healer die did he just stand and stuff is he afk i don't know we'll res the healer and then i'll open the loot come on baby oh no just a splinter spark but okay we'll need those for crafting i'll get them all eventually but yeah we just got a whisper from seeker monk says you was just watching the last episode keep up the good work <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Will do. I love getting these whispers. It actually makes me really fucking happy. I don't know. It's just, it feels nice to see that people are having fun with the videos. It it really motivates me to keep making them, to be honest, because sometimes it's rough. I've been recording most of the day today between work and everything and editing. It's uh, it's tough to keep up the daily videos. And I think that's going to have to change. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, basically, I'm either going to start making shorter videos and the series are going to last longer, or I'm going to make equally long videos, but they're going to be every other day. I haven't decided yet. I kind of tried already to make shorter videos for a while, but I just like I just record so much. <laughs> in a single session because I want to keep playing the game because I have fun playing the game that I end up just making a really long video out of it because I can't do anything but that because I have so much recorded in one single session in the sense of like, okay, for this video, I want to do such and such. And then doing such and such takes a very long time. So the end video ends up being very long because I, I just, I don't like skipping stuff that I'm saying, not because what I'm saying is important, but because I just like giving people the full context of what I'm talking about. I don't know. It's just, it's hard. It's hard to cut down on the video length so we're gonna see what it ends up being but there there's there's gonna have to be a change because this is becoming a little bit unsustainable for me unfortunately because i do have a full-time job on top of all this and currently between sleep video making and work the only thing that's getting cut is sleep and i don't like that i like my beauty sleep i may not be pretty but i like to get my beauty sleep i'm just gonna grab this off the healer there we go switching to the next phase removed it completely that's good you have corrosion on my buddy here let me let me get it off you actually it has it just doesn't expire at any point okay looks like the tank took it i think he did that intentionally that's okay now they're gonna split but we're gonna go after this one why because that one moves and this one is a turret so this one you you cannot move this one to the other guy you gotta go move the other guy to this one i'm just gonna use my aoe heal cooldown for the group i'm gonna switch to this one because there's a bunch of shit on the ground over there that i can't stand in there's a fire breath coming through i gotta move out of that and they're almost dead there we go they're dead loot yes no oh hello versatility mastery is that better than what i have on my current offhand my current offhand is versatility mastery as well but it's less mastery more versatility so i think this is actually better than my current offhand somehow for the same item level it has lower dps but i don't I think that's just like a weird number thing. So we're going to put that in the offhand, equip it. Yes. And we're going to quickly put on flame tongue. We're going to refresh the other buffs just so they all expire at the same time. And we're going to wait to go and do a Riddicron. Oh, we're doing another hold W pull. Okay. We're going to knock everything up because there's a tempo slice coming through. I don't like that. Relocate the totem. Why am I being so low so much? Oh, because of that thing. Okay. I'm going to self heal a little bit. Chrono melt. Kick one of those chrono melts. I'm going to try and stun everything with my Taran thing. I think I did. I'm going to drop a totem on top of that. I'll have a knock up soon we're going to use my aoe cc from the sundering to also do a shit ton of damage on top of that okay i didn't use my damage perfectly but my cc definitely went through and i think it helped at least a little bit that was a rough pull that i don't like imagine that on a fortified 20 or something that's a wipe right there like before the tank even reaches the last mobs it's a wipe all right we got a bloodlust coming through okay i'm gonna drop a physical resistance totem because i think that is physical damage i'm not sure though we need to get into the soak people are not in the soak i don't think we get the buff if everyone doesn't soak oh we do get the buff very nice okay so we keep the zoog zoog up this is a very fun boss when you when you really like haste this is a very very fun boss i do need to check if haste or mastery is my best stat or if either of those are my best stat but i'm just going to assume that haste and mastery are my best stats and there we go that is our last heroic yes yes cinematic very good oh boy okay now we're just gonna wait for chromie to land us over there so we can grab whatever piece of loot we get if we get one and then we're gonna go to valdraken we're gonna turn in our five heroic quests to get a champion piece of loot i'm curious to see what it is there's not many slots well actually there's nothing except for a ring that i would be angry about oh i got my mind on my money loot 5,000 gold that's pretty nice actually 
Anyway, we're going to leave instance group. I think I need to kill one of these guys. Just that's all I need to do. So I'm going to quickly kill one of these guys to just finish up this quest. And there we go. We're going to turn it in. We're going to accept the next one. And I'm not going to do that. I need to go. I need to finish today's recording and I need to go edit. I think I'm going to take a little break by doing a little run with the peeps on Discord. I think Fanto Montana just finished leveling his rogue and everything. And he kind of wants to gear it up. So we're going to help him out. Maybe do a 17 for his vault and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that run real quick. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to edit the next video i don't even feel like vendoring this i just want to be done i just want to go see what i get i want to see my loot come on baby like my file again join me in my prayers to rng jesus channel your energies from the future into the past into definitely not vlad let's go we got a helmet with haste mastery okay 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 i'm okay with that the champion tier helmet is going to be good we're replacing crit versatility with haste mastery that's perfect actually that works really well and we're just going to quickly hide the old helmet off the noggin for cloak we're good we have the totems that's good weapons we are going to hunt down a transmog for weapons at a point soon soon trademark that actually i didn't hide the helmet hold on hide the helmet there we go we've applied the style and that is good we are now sitting at 406 item level before the first reset i feel pretty happy about that i'm gonna go up to my outro peak and landing there we go that is it for today's episode thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it drop a like let me know what you liked about it in the comments i read all of those and i respond the most i used to respond to every single one of them but there's been quite a few comments lately and it's just been hard to keep up in the next episode we're going to be doing more of all this but i think i'm going to cut it down super super short i don't need to show the same process twice in a row but as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode i spent most of my day in a queue today